behind me. I'm just laughing at the falling animation. Oh, God. I've been gooped. <laughs> it's a wrong time to goof. It's a bad time to goof. All right. Uh, ooh, I didn't pick that up. Okay, there we go. I can't use that here. Why? I can't use that here. Why? Okay. Seems like the perfect place. Oh! Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Our way. Take the bait. Take it. Got him. <laughs> All right. Here. Ooh, got him. Yes. Whoa. Holy shit. That's a big fucking fish. Holy cow. How did we get day? That is. That was the biggest fish I've ever seen. <laughs> what the hell? That fish was bigger than Sonic, right? What the fuck? I think you're on fire. All right, I got some carrots uh, in there. Plates. Right. The beef is a, the beef needs to be be plated. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Put it down. Put it. Get put it down. Get out, get out. Oh God! Get out! Oh my God! Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck. Fire. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> 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 James, it's right I, there. I, I dropped it's right it so behind I us. Pick up the meat. Oh God. Okay. All right. All well, right there it is. Right, anyway. All right. all right. We got it. We're fine. We're we fine. Go. I couldn't Everyone even see fine. it. Those beliefs were the things that made you, you. If you wouldn't have stood up to Sharper, stood up for what you believed in, you wouldn't have been the same person anymore. You had to go. But that... That didn't mean you you loved us any less. I may not visit you as much as I used to. I know you understand. to the kitchen it's a date if we make breakfast it's a date if we sweep the floors because it got a little dirty it's a date uh if we if, kiss them all i will i'm gonna try i'm gonna try my best he just doesn't want to be alone anyway i didn't mean to get all introspective i actually just invited you over for some fun like uh, fun fun it probably sounds shallow but it's been on my mind since we met oh you mean like do you want to play a you want to play a video game like some mario kart or some smash brothers i think he wants to play some smash brothers and yeah okay <laughs> bye <laughs> come and get me so fast what is Look wrong the with them oh so whoa <laughs> <laughs> kind of surprised me there big guy come on in water it's it's our well i think that took care of most of them one more yeah okay come on in okay he changed i can't see he just, he's he's got, stage right Come here, buddy. Okay. No, no, it's Come okay. Here, Come play with Wee. us. You know you okay. Bye. <laughs> Later, nerd. Is this even a thing I can do? Where is this is him? Where? Oh, yeah, I can do that. I can definitely do that. Right? Right? Can I do that? Yes. Yes. Okay. You got it, little buddy. I'm going to murder. I'm going to murder. Buddy, you don't worry about a thing. I'm going to kill your pet. I'll see you later. What do you know? 100%. Sora, Donald, Goofy. <laughs> Guess I owe you a big thank you. Uh, did you notice how she said Goofy? Stay someplace safe. We'll search. Did you notice that? And make sure she was like, oh, Sora, Donald. Be careful. Goofy. Wonder boy. I will. Goofy, remember the last time you were so, here? You guys in? Remember that? Hercules doesn't know about that yet.
Why, hello. Hello. How is everybody doing? Welcome to a new week. Welcome to a new year. It is the first stream of 2024 for The Leem That Streams. And I'm Nason, and I am The Leem That Streams. And I hope you guys are having a good uh, Tuesday. I forgot what day it was for a second. But I bet you guys are a little bit surprised this week. We're going to do a little bit of a different schedule. We're kind of transitioning back to, because remember, this is how we used to do it, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm back to doing that. Eventually, we're going to move Saturdays to Sundays. But this week should be really fun because we got two times the lethal company. I'm really excited about that. I'll be playing with uh, Demon Otter Games, Hi-Fi Wolf, 1UP Milo, and Akira Ochiba, and probably others on Thursday, I would assume. But today, I'm playing some Winds of Change. Now, a while back, I want to say a couple of months ago, probably many of you saw me playing a game called Coma Rebi. And this game is made by the same person. In fact, I think a lot of people would even say that that game had like a little bit of a sequel to this game kind of in there mixed in with their like D&D session stuff. I'm kind of excited to play it. It was the vote in the Discord channel and this is the winner. Uh, so we are playing this game and we are going to be very serious and go on a very serious adventure. And there will be nothing that nothing that stops me from completing this adventure. I'm telling you, the most important thing is that we save the world. There's nothing else in this game that occurs that we need to think about. But with that all being said, uh, let's see the cute furry art, huh? <laughs> hey, that's how we're going to do it. Uh, but in any case, I got to get everything up and running. Uh, yeah, no, this is made by Clays, another game by Clays, who is, if you don't know them, check them out. They're on Clays on uh, Twitter X, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think they're on Blue Sky now as well. They did do, they did make uh, Calma Rebi, and they also have another one out there called Major Minor, I want to say. I haven't played that one. One, but I think there's like a remaster or a remix or something coming out sometime in the future, but that should be fun. Uh, so maybe we'll check it out at that point. But this one um, was released a little bit before Coma Rebi and actually is on the Switch as well. I'm playing the PC version. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now, but looks really interesting, really fun. Should be a good little fun little story, uh, but let's see what it's all about. How about you come and join me on this adventure, guys? Are you guys going to come and join me on this adventure? You're going to get your D&D &D on and you're going to grab your sword or whatever, you know, the, the, the actual sword that's not not a metaphor for nothing. You're just going to grab your sword or their sword or whatever. Just nothing weird about it. And then thrust that, thrust it. In. I, all right, whatever. I'm just going to play the game anyway. Um, let's take a look. Oh, I forgot to make some changes here. Hold on. <laughs> Oopsies. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Thought something was weird. Let me turn the uh, background music off too. That worked. There it is. Beautiful winds of change music in the background. Uh, music by Fox and Moore and Joel. I don't. I'm gonna really butcher this. Studler. Studler. I know Fox and Moore. I don't know Joel. I may know Joel, but I don't know Joel. Not Billy Joel, so definitely don't know them 100%. But let's take a look at some of these Egyptians. Make sure I'm uh, doing this the right way for you. Am I in there? There it is. My little sword thing. Uh, roll back side. I don't know what that means. Mm. Don't know what that means. Uh... Music is pretty good. I'll give him that. It's very, uh, very, very soothing. You know what I mean? Very soothing. Uh, nothing here looks weird. I don't know what that means, so we may have to experiment with it. But let me start. Uh, let me start with this over here. In in the other game that we played, I didn't bring the controller out because I had to move around a lot. So I figured let's not do that. I'm gonna try that again for this one and see what goes down. But here we go. It is. Adventure time. Enjoy your adventure and choose wisely in the world of Alestria. Where the spirits reign supreme. Yeah. Do, do they? The rebellion oh. is in shambles. Okay. With the recent loss of their leader. What? They are struggling. No. 
But this defeat was not without a victory of its own. Oh, good! For then th in that's his great. Final moments. He secured an artifact of great importance. Great. Who? It was paramount to uh -huh. the Emperor's leadership. This blade was. And without it, their tyrannical grip on the people would surely fall. To great. Have that's no probably choice. good. I assume. Give the Grand Inquisitor one simple order. Okay. Destroy the rebellion and retrieve the lost blade of the Triumvirate. Yes. Dormek, the ha. new leader of the rebels, has set other plans in motion. Who? Hiding the blade in Valinor. Where? He's confident that it will be protected. Okay. This sheltered hamlet is now custodian to the weapon that would liberate the world. Perfect. And so, it would be met with a gruesome fate by the Triumvirate and their grand president. Uh-oh. That sounds... Ooh. Listen to that. That deep... The, the deep choir going through. Oh, winds of change! Yes! This is going to be great. I'm excited. I am excited about this. Very, very dramatic. Very dramatic, like... Like, dwarves of Middle Earth opening. You gotta love it. Am I supposed to do something? Uh... Not that, apparently. What the frick? Where's my... What did I do? Oh. I must have clicked in the wrong spot. I don't know. <laughs> Everything is burning. I can do little to stop it from spreading. Is this me? Am I the one doing that? I don't know. It could be. Uh, it looks like they try to favor that side a little bit, so I'm gonna start over here. That's a little better. As immense pain assaults my head and I throw my face into my hands, I assume this is me. Why does it keep doing that? Stop it! Stop it! Stop! The same question repeatedly plays in my mind. What am I doing here? I have no knowledge of what happened up to this point. My brain is in struggling to fill in the blanks, not gaining any headway. <laughs> my head is no headway. I'm just so normally it's really, really empty up there. We're almost like it was almost like until this exact moment, I never existed. Then why is it now cognition has found me? Was there something I could do to put these out these flames? Or perhaps I was the cause of this inferno to begin with. A foolish thought and one I had to throw away. Well, maybe I did. If I was responsible, then I wouldn't feel this sense of dread. Well, that's not entirely true. An emotion shared by those who stand beside me. Come on, pick up the pace. If we waste any uh, time, we won't make it out alive. Who are There's you? No way the elder would let me let that one down. Okay. I don't know who you are, but thanks for the warning. Uh, you got it. I feel like she's escorting me, and I should follow her. Okay, I can go with that. What is this pose? What is she? What is this? What is this about? She's like mm, both hands. Like this. I can't get my hands to do this. My camera doesn't. There we go. Right, right under my chin. Okay, we'll do that. I grasp at the straws that are memories of my mind. And then I'm the only able to latch onto one. It's the title that I go by. Are you even paying attention? I know. You have lovely eyes, by the way. Did you know that? You have really... Like, this This is not as flattering of a look. But down here, you have really pretty eyes. Uh, I am the seer. Or the seer. Maybe I've been in the flames too long. I'm not sure, but I'm going to go with that. I know who you are, seer. Okay. Did you hit your head or something? Maybe. I don't remember. She scoffs as she turns the other way. But I know she's right. I'm not taking this seriously. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, it feels like a dream, and I doubt that it's all happening. For a few moments later, a sudden sensation startles me. There's a firm grip on my shoulder. We are not alone. We are not alone. Underneath a veil of fright, I turn to greet this second stranger. Valessa has our Hi. Okay. Forgive her hot-headedness for me. Freedom okay. Too much farther. Who are you? Are you Valessa? You look so ashamed. I feel kind of bad. You're big. 
B-roll he's that big? You're just a big tall man? A big tall dude, Vanessa? All right. We need to stay calm and think this through. Two guys like us, we should have no problem. We'll be safe and sound before you know it. Right. Also, I do... I'm... Uh, should I be between both? I don't know. We'll see. All right. We weave through the houses and alleys and remain unseen. Do our best to be completely silent and we bring no attention to ourselves. If it is going to be more, I'm probably going to stay on this side, so we'll just do this for now. The flames encourage our urgency, but we are careful not to be fast or reckless. Our silence makes everything else more prominent, however. The screams of those being slaughtered fill me with a feeling of disgust. We need to find cover, and Valesa points out a small alcove waiting nearby. Look, they're uh -huh. dying because they panicked. Okay. We need to stay calm and think through this together. You got it. If we freak out... Where's my mouse? Like them. I don't know where it went. There it is. Wait, nope. It, well, okay. There it is. Okay. She has a point. Does she? Our first instinct was to oh. was theirs. We should let them face the brunt of this attack. Who? Who are we? Wait, happy, good idea, sad. We wait. So we're letting them die to buy us time. Neutral, there has to be another way to do this. I kind of feel like that that does sound kind of shitty. Like, we're like, uh, well, you know, it sucks, but, you know, maybe there's a neutral way. Happy, good idea, let them... Su Why would I be happy about that? Uh, wait, we're letting them die to buy us time? Yes. What else are we supposed to do? I don't know. We're not equipped to take them on alone. You have a pretty big sword. Did you notice that? That sword. I'm not being. It's not a euphemism. Maybe. But also, you have a pretty big sword. But using them like pawns, Ulrich. You love the that. Of you love that pose, that. don't you? you have any better ideas? No. If we try to save them all... I have... We'll I never... Okay. I never have any ideas. My brain is basically empty. What's your name, by the way? Is it just... It would be funny if his name was actually just like three question marks. I would respect that. My suspicions are correct. Ulrich is the one protecting us. But my, why exactly are we in a higher priority than the civilians? I don't know. I venture a guess that we currently... In the, or we are currently in this Valor, Valinorth, Valinorth. I can speak words. Words are not too difficult for me. Sometimes. The pain in my head pulses again and I stumble back. As I let out a groan, Ulrich rushes over to my side. Oh, baby. His exaggerated concern is now understandable. It must be the smoke. Make sure to sit down. Uh-huh. The lower you are right now, the better. Okay. Are you having trouble breathing? Um, well, you know, not really, but probably in the smoke, is, if that's what you're saying. I shake my head and let him know that it's not the smoke. It's his big, big pecs and arms, maybe. This causes uh, Valesa to chime in, voicing her concerns as well. Yeah, something else is going on here. Uh-huh. He's been acting strange for a while now. Well, you, I, that is pretty harsh, okay? I, maybe I'm having a bad day, okay? Maybe I didn't sleep well. Like, you guys could ask maybe some questions. Maybe I had, you know, a little too much coffee. You're really assuming a lot. Is there something you need to tell us? Uh, I can't seem to remember anything. I don't really know what's going on right now. That's more me right now. This is probably more true, but I'm going to go with that one. Join the club. It's not like we anticipated this. Come on. Time to gear you up. Okay. Sure. What? Wait. Oh, sorry. He steps away for a few moments and inspects the ground around him. There's a brief period where I can't see him, but he returns with a blade. The fire causes it to glisten almost like it's begging me to take it. Ooh. I don't care what's going on in that head of yours. But well. it's not more important than your survival. We're all overwhelmed. It's not just you. Well, I don't even know who you are. You, you might be big and tall and have really large muscles, but I still don't know who you are. He holds out the blade, expecting my compliance. At this rate, it seems like I'm fighting the inevitable. Take it. We won't be standing here forever. 
As soon as we leave this alcove, we'll be vulnerable. I can't take care of you all the time, you know. Do you want to? Uh, I could guess I could be aggressive. I'll be like, I'll defend myself. I've never used this before, but I will do it. Now that's what I like to hear. Okay. I'll feel better if you have something to fight with. Vanessa has her daggers, but you had nothing. Do you? Where? Where are you keeping them? Okay. I grab the blade and swing it a couple times, testing its weight. It seems good enough for me, but... And I wouldn't have any problems using it. Though, it was a far cry from a massive battle blade that Ehrlich carried. I noticed that also... Wait, never mind. Now then, it's time to move. Seems like some of the noise has finally died down. We should start by investigating the town square. Okay, is that it over there? Because there's really not much left to investigate. He walks off, expecting us to follow along. But as I'm about to take a step, Valesa grabs my arm. I look at her face, tells me, or the look on her face tells me something is wrong. You are confused about all this, right? A little bit. You don't even know what being the seer means. Well. Or how we've known each other for our entire lives. Have we? Because uh, I feel like I'd remember that pose you do constantly, and I really don't. Don't be sad, though. You still have really beautiful eyes. And, I'll, and that's not a dagger. That's a bow. What the? Okay, never mind. Uh, I look at the ground in both shame and confusion. She's completely right. My head is a mess. As I try to think of an excuse, her response surprises me. That's normal, but please listen. We only have a few moments before Ulrich notices we're not there. The seer is special. You wield spirits to induce prophetic visions. Okay, that's cool. Do I do this a lot, or is it like an every once in a while kind of thing? Have I received a lot of training on this? Because it feels like I may not remember any of it. When you have these visions, you're unable to remember anything. We That's convenient. You'll dismiss it as a dream and forget it ever happened. Oh, okay. As your scribe, it's my job to help you take advantage of this. Advantage of as a scribe? Wait, hold on. I'm confused the by that statement. The Streams is proud to support Can't an ongoing follow. donation drive no right here on Twitch for the Lemur Conservation What did I say? Foundation. I must have said something. I didn't to mean to. support the stream in an awesome way and can afford can it, it, check it out. To oh, okay. More, check out the link in chat at the Lemur The way you're acting, I'm certain this is a vision. That means you can use it for information. She takes a few steps closer to me and grabs my hands. Well, you're getting very familiar right now. I think we've just... Well, you said we know each other our whole lives, but I feel like we just met, so that's a little bit forward of you. I know I keep commenting on your beautiful eyes, but that... I don't know if that gives you the right, you know what I mean? Staring straight into my eyes, she noticed a glimmer of hope shining within her. I'm really... There's that pose again. Valnorth is still fine. <laughs> When you wake up, use this vision to save everyone. Okay. It's your duty as seer to ensure this doesn't become real. Well, that's a lot of pressure. I feel like that's a lot of pressure, Valesa. Like, just because you know who I am doesn't mean you can put that kind of pressure on my lemur ass, okay? That... Wait, she lets go of my hands and follows after Ulrich. Though it's hard to believe what she said, I'm less confused. Maybe. I finally had a reason for why I felt so disconnected. But if this was a vision, then what would become of Ulrich and Valesa? Would all of this carnage be undone as soon as I woke up? What if they died, or what if I died in this vision? After I, f I follow Valesa, realizing I might never know, but in a faint sense of determination rises up within me. If there was a chance I could stop this, I had to do it. Fade to black, fade to- no. Alright, we're here. Oh, that's not good. Wait, this is not the same place. This is like freaking that place in Lord of the Rings. Uh, in, in the present day, the Triumvirate conspires with their Grand Inquisitor. For the events that led to Valinor's destruction had yet to be set in motion. <clears throat> Sovi knelt before his masters, eager, more eager to serve than he'd ever been before. Sophie. Yeah, Please Sophie. Assure us of your certainty. We hate to act without knowing everything. Everything? That's a lot of that's a lot. You know, do you think that's possible? These are those are pretty nice hoods though. 
The prisoner Hi. What are you? Are you a goat? Is that a goat? Along with recent events, you're a buff goat. Maximize one thing. Do you lift, bro? Oh, okay. What are you saying? Something about Valinorth? The rebels are hiding something of importance there. Along with recent events, we can only surmise one thing. Of Exodus. Do you all do that all the time? It's a little creepy. Do you guys just like get together and like, okay, guys, here's what we're gonna say. If he says this, then we all have to kind of go this direction with it. Okay. Make sure you get the inflections correct, because otherwise it'll sound really weird. Right? He knows what I'm talking about. I am almost certain. But if that's where they've chosen to hide it, it means that our other target is also there. Who's that? It's not me, right? Because you wouldn't be after the... Your compliance pleases us, Sophie. Your plan was risky, but it worked out in the end. A final interrogation would influence our decision further. Uh-huh. What interrogation with me or this crystal ball or him? Cause he's got like a real deep V I noticed. Like I just, I don't know if that really matters, but I'm just saying he kind of does. You'd have me interrogate the prisoner once more. If I may be so bold, to what end do you request this? Probably for information. That would be my guess. You're cute, but you're kind of dumb. Not you, Sophie. We want, we want your, your apprentice, apprentice to do this. Who's that? It is time for him to prove his worth. Now, oh, well, you know, you gotta let them, you gotta let them chickens, those chicks, fly from the roost or whatever. It's about time. The four voices echoed loudly through the darkened chambers. I didn't, I, I'm right here. I didn't hear that. It mattered not which the triumvir spoke, for they all were one mind. Why? With a clear irritation in his voice, Savi did his best to stay calm. My apprentice? Yeah. I've told you many times I want to work alone. It would be more efficient for me to do this myself. Well, then why did you take on an apprentice? In subordination. This is you probably shouldn't have done that. If you, <laughs> if you wanted to do it all and by yourself, maybe taking on the apprentice was not the best plan. You know what I mean? It seems like we didn't really think that through, did you? Very dangerous. If we were to lose you, a replacement would be necessary. You must train this replacement while you still breathe. Are you expecting something else? What do you know is what we're asking. As you command. As I command? <laughs> what do you know? Savi turned his back to the triumvirate and spotted his apprentice. It's weird if you want to work alone, but you have an apprentice. That's weird. He was standing by the door listening to their conversation. Uh, if he'd heard Savi's distaste for him, it showed no concern. Interrogation. Hi. Hmm. You look kind of similar uh, to the big guy with the bigger sword. He's I got bigger, but you have two of them. That's, well, I don't know if that is a, a, weird. What's your name? Uh, I thought the prisoner was at his wit's end. Anything to confirm our suspicions about Valinorth. If you fail, I will not hesitate to punish you. Remember what we're on the verge of. Okay. I understand, Master. I'll do my best to get you what you need. What are the <laughs> limits when it comes to my approach? What are you saying right now? What? Um, well, mm. keep him alive, Halen. Halen? I find that Van Halen? Pain is is your, your Van? Are you Eddie? He cares more is you, are you Eddie Van Halen? Than he does for Holy shit, you've changed. Can you sing a song for me? I would love to hear it. Rebellion's very core. I'm grateful to have this opportunity, Master. Things are starting to line up well. <laughs> That's a face right there. Look at that. Oh, he's got that wide smile going. They both, he's not as amused, but you look very amused right now. I'm very proud of you, Eddie. They tend to do that when you have the triumvirate's blessing. We should take care of this immediately and catch them unprepared. Every moment we waste is a moment they gain, Halen. You're right. They leave the room together, take, talking amongst themselves. The triumvirate waits until they are gone before speaking. A faint smile on their faces as age-old plans come to fruition. So it's finally going to happen, isn't it? 
Well, maybe. I don't know. What is it you're waiting for? Do you think we should tell Sobe our true plan? Well, if he's executing it, that might be a good way to go about it. But you're not. Gonna be a big surprise. And be like, hey, Sylvie, surprise! And he's gonna be like, what are you talking about? And they're gonna be like, Sylvie, surprise. surprise! And he's like, like, that's weird. Um, Halen entered the prison cell without Savi at his side. His master remained outside a pseudo display of trust, but it was evident to Halen that no trust existed. The prisoner looked up, surprised to see a different face. Yet within him was a slow dwindling hope. Cut off from the rebellion, these would be his final days. So, someone different has finally come. What mm -hmm. are you, the executioner or something? I that sounds like... It's only a matter of time. Kind of sounds like Ben Schwartz a little bit, but I know it's probably not, but it kind of sounds like him, like the Sonic the Hedgehog actor, <laughs> but it's... I know it's not, but I, when I first heard it, I was like, wait a minute. Um, Actually, Sovi said to keep you alive. You seem to underestimate your value, Shane. Oh, he looks so sad. I just want to give him a big head pat. Come here, buddy. I want to just give you a little scratch by in the ear. You're going to be fine. You think I'm important? That's not what I expected to hear. Well, don't take it the wrong way. You must not know what I meant. I don't. I'm still very lost here. He knelt down in front of the prisoner with a sinister smirk as he tried to intimidate Shane. You're important as a bargaining chip. Uh-huh. And the fact I must keep you alive is a curse. When I'm through with you, <laughs> you'll beg. My death. goodness. You're getting very... You know? Just being a little little bit of a little smirky boy over here. I don't know about the make of that. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, yeah. You see, I'm different from Sovi. He's past the bar. They no longer need to test him. But I'm in the he passed, position where he's a lawyer? must happen. Wait, Savi, wait, your whole thing is that you're both lawyers? Is that what you're saying? He passed the bar? What is he? Is he a litigator? Like... What kind of law does he do? He seems like he's kind of on, like, the, you know, the tax side of things, maybe? When we give you back, you'll be a broken man. And soon after, the foundation of the I like how he's con he looks like he's just kind of considering this, like, oh, we don't maybe. Know that Damik is your leader. Damik? Do you think we don't know? I don't know who that is. What? 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 Shane's eyes shot wide open in utter shock. It seems that Halen's threats work to great effect. You'd be stupid not to think we have inside men. I could order Damek's execution in a matter of seconds. You don't value your life, but you value his. Yeah, I do too. I've never met him, but I value his life very, very much. Nothing to say. Oh. Good. Now, I expect you to answer my questions. The Blade of Exodus. Is it in Valinorth Village? Maybe. And the one who can wield it. Do they live there as well? Well, the fine live because maybe he's just renting or he's visiting. Like, he could have brought it into town. You never know. Oh, we're not going to... Shane, no! Shane, you got really long arms. <laughs> Shane's got the longest arms I've ever seen. My God. By the time we catch up with Ulrich, they're already too late. We're already... It's already too late. Oh, that doesn't look good. His large blade is in deadlock with one of the enemy soldiers. Valesa draws her daggers and I hold up my sword ready. We order you to cease your resistance! Those who support the rebellion must perish. Okay, that seems a little harsh, but um, that is... Can you see anything or breathe? Also, you have the same blades as that other guy. Is that a coincidence? Maybe it's not, because this guy looks kind of similar. To break the dreadlock, Urlock kicks his opponent in the gut. They stumble back and ready their blade with a flourish. It isn't much longer until they charge towards him again. Melissa, your dagger! She only has one? Okay. 
Ulrich jumps out of the way and rolls towards us. Landing on his knees, he pries one of the daggers from her grip. Without even looking, he throws it behind himself. He closes his eyes and looks down at the guard. When he hears the impact of the dagger, his ears fold back. For a moment, it looks like he's actually sad. Spirits, please forgive my misdeeds. I acted only to protect those under my watch. He was going to kill you. I think you're okay. I appreciate your sentiment, but I think you're going to be okay. Orwick cares about the spirits for some reason. I didn't expect that. Why? I don't even know who he is. I've never, I may have met this guy, but I don't remember any of it. Before I can think about his, this any further, something happens. Catching Vel, uh, Valesa and I off guard, we're complete, or we're in complete disbelief. Huh? Huh? He notices the shocked expression on both of our faces. Well, he kind of has one too, so we're all on the same page here. Rising to his feet, it's not long before he wears the same look. The enemy soldier fell as expected, but there was nothing inside. Scattered pieces of armor littered the ground. As a process of, of revelation, confusion soon assails us. It was no ordinary attack, but what we just saw was impossible. What's going on? I don't know. Oh, wait, what are those things? I don't know. Well, you're not asking me. I don't know. I Come closer, you two. This doesn't feel right. Oh. Empty suits of armor with the well, hatred for the rebellion? If you insist. Only those who've mastered the spirits could do this. I'm afraid this is much larger than we thought. Okay. I agree. That can't be true. The spirits are pure. They aid us. Well, we don't know that. I mean, you might know that, but you don't specifically know that. Maybe. I need to check on something really quick. I think if I do this, there we go. Okay, how do I get this back? My my mouse is too, too powerful. Is this thing all the way up? Okay, just want to make sure that was all the way up. Good. Everything's good. Yeah, sure. Let me just check. Like they wanted to help. Preferences. Is this all the way up? Yeah, everything's all the way up. All right, we're good. I just want to make sure that this sound was in good shape. I care about you guys very, very much. You know what I mean? I would feel really bad if you couldn't hear anything. Mm, that's not my concern, though. Look at this. He, she scoffs as she steps towards the helmet. Kneeling down, she pulls her dagger out of it. Do you recognize these colors, Ulrich? Uh, the mask? I mean, I'm here also. You could, I mean, I know I don't seem to know very much, but you know what I mean? No, why would I? I don't know either, Ulrich. I think she might be buckling under the pressure. We might want to keep an eye on that one. Just saying. Gold and white. The triumvirate standard. I would have never made such a deduction, but only they could wield the spirits in this fashion. Well, wait, hold on. That phrase right there that you just said, why are you smiling about this? Anyway, also, like, do you realize what you just said is only they could do it? I never would have guessed. <laughs> wait, watch the triumvirate. I don't know. Our supposed protectors. Oh. Some, even the creators of Alestia. Great. I have no idea why they'd want to do this to us. To us? Well, yeah, okay, yeah, us. Wouldn't be the first time they attempted occupation. They hinted that the rebellion was involved here. Valesa, do you know anything about that? I don't. So much has changed lately. The Jojo, gone. greeting Seer. How goes the battle with the Triumvirate? I don't know who they are. They're weird people with hoods. And then they all talk as one. And that, that, I don't know if they're rehearsing that beforehand. Maybe they rehearse that. Do you think they get together and they get together like, okay, if he says this, then we're going to say this. And we all got to say it at the same speed with the same inflection, else it's just going to be weird. We've talked about this, Steve. And Steve's like, listen, I know I got the last one wrong, but we're going to get it right this time. They're very weird. They're weird. Also, he's pretty cute, but that's... He got a big sword. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Elder, what what did you say? Something about Elder or something? I don't know. It's worth a shot. Uh-huh. We should see if he's alive. 
Protecting you is my goal, but now I want answers. If anyone knows about this, it would be him. Who? I wasn't paying attention. Who? Who? Who are we? Did that who are we? What? The elders. Is that his name? Elder? He's probably like five, like 16. Like, watch. I would really love that if it, they'd get there. And they're like, oh, Elder, are you in there? And he's just like, yeah. And it's just like some 12 year old. It takes a lot of practice. Luckily, they actually. <laughs> Actually, that's a spoiler. Okay, okay. I also would date Ulrich. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That you look so disappointed in me right now. I'm very intimidated. After I fo I follow after Valesa and Ulrich. I love how they're all having these conversations. I'm just sitting here like, uh huh, yeah, I agree. And then I just move along behind them. We walk along the circular road surrounding the water tank. I make note of it for later. It might uh, help put out some of the flames. More suits of armor litter the ground. There's so many of them. It makes me feel uh, a bit of hopeful, like we stood a chance. The village wasn't defenseless, and this was proof. Aren't you glad we waited now? If we rushed in head first, we'd be dead. Well, you don't know that, but maybe. Then where are the villagers' bodies? I only see the suits of armor lying around. That's a good question. What are they doing with them bodies? It was a good question, actually. No blood, no signs of major struggle. Only the fire and the glistening of white armor. That's a good sign. Then they won and fled to safety. Are there any havens in Valinorth? I don't know. Maybe over here somewhere? I'd say the Elder's house and the Grand Tree. The fire may not have reached either. Yet. Alrighty. Let's go to the Elder's house. It's Wait. on our way. How many people can fit in the Grand Tree? It's a Grand Tree. So it's probably pretty big. Hundreds. Easily. See? I told you. Ulrich. I, you know, you may be big and strong and handsome, but I got the brains over here, okay? <laughs> Not as good of a sign as I thought. The enemy could be trying to round everyone up. Put them I would say at least two. Two of him. Hundreds of everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> That's dirty. That's dirty? Oh, wait. Is it the deep V going on here? Is that what's dirty? Because I agree. But it works. We still don't know what they're after. It can't be genocide. It must be something else. Uh-huh. Tell me more. Does Valinorth have anything the Triumvirate would want? Did the change in leadership bring anything with it? Me? Like I said, we'd have to talk to Milas. But I doubt he'd be at the Grand Tree. Who's Milas? They look at each other and then look at me. That's a lot of pressure. Hi. How are you? You guys good? You good? I can tell that Valesa was pushing us towards Milas. But that's because she knew this was a vision. But what if there are people in the Grand Tree? Is Milas more important than all of them? It would be cold to let everyone die. Yeah, Ulrich's pretty big, but it gotta be careful taking him places. Probably, but also, that statement right there, you literally asked me not 10 minutes ago, you were like, oh, we should push through and just let them all die. And now you're like, but that would be horrible. And I'm like, what did guy need to make up your mind? Ulrich, this is larger than Valinorth. There's that Sleep pose the again. Okay. And could save entire villages. Perfect. I want to know more about that. I don't like what you're suggesting. What is she suggesting? You literally just did the same thing not that long ago. Do you understand you did that? It's any better than what you suggested. You Say, I was right. Oh, don't worry. This is one of the How easiest choices different? you'll make. Perfect. How is this any different? They fume at each other, but realize it's a stupid argument. In the midst of the battle, nothing was so black and white. Ah, uh, though I find it odd, Ulrich's switched viewpoints. I was just saying that! I was right there this with it! This is a matter of Valinor's future. Such things are under the jurisdiction of the Seer. That's me! Okay. Both of ours. Uh-huh, is that me? You're gonna say, uh, that I gotta make this choice? Cause I don't like that. Is, unless you wanna abandon your job. Well, that wouldn't look good on your perfect record. I have a perfect record? Uh-oh. I guess you can fight dirty too. I don't like this, but you have me by the throat. 
I oh yeah? Did you make the right choice? Oh, okay. Well, uh, they're putting a lot of pressure on me right now, and I don't know if I am up for this. He stares at me with a serious look on his face. He's looking at her right now. That's not the same thing. He's literally looking over there. That, okay, look, first of all, I'm just pointing it out. He's, he might be staring at her boobs. I'm not 100% sure, but he, <laughs> he might, he literally might be like, oh, look, look at that. Okay, and then he stares at me with a serious look. Talk about putting me on the spot. But if this was my role, I had to fill the shoes. Oh, Ulrich, you can take me by the throat anytime. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What are we going to do? I don't know. The focus on lives, focus on... Well, what if I'm wrong that it... What if I'm wrong that it's a vision? Because, like, we don't know that. Maybe she's mistaken. What if she's wrong? What is this, like, music in the background? I just noticed that. Um, but what if she's wrong? What if you're wrong? What if you're wrong? And I do this one because that seems to be what... I would think that if it was a vision, that would be smart because then I'd know before like doing it for reals and that would be great. Although they kind of hinted that it might be a vision. I'm going to go with it. You better not steer me wrong, lady. You better not do it. Mm. All right. I vowed to stop this attack. I needed information. If anybody could give us that information, it would be Mylas, whoever that is. He's able to shed light on the Rebellion's involvement, too. Good. We're on the same page. We Maybe. We use that information to help others. Uh-huh. It would be selfish to focus only on Balanorth. I hope you two are certain about this. You're gambling Whoa. with hundreds of lives. You're right. You're... Mm, those are... Okay. Anyway, Uruk didn't understand uh, this like we did. We weren't about to waste time lecturing him. It was grateful uh, that his job required following us. We continued in the same direction, heading towards Milus's house. It didn't feel good to abandon others, but we had to do it. This was real. Or, well, I'd use the future to cheat the present. Well, I don't know that. It could be. What if I'm wrong? I better not be wrong. They throw that at me like they're being like, oh, that, just kidding, it wasn't a vision at all. Oopsie poopsie, you made a big mistakey wakey. In the present day, Damik found himself lost in thought. Using the tunnels under Mazio for solitude, he found peace. There was much, or there was much to plan, but for once, they had the upper hand. Hmm, Valinoth. The oh, hi, business. you must be Damik. There must be something the spirits aren't telling us something we could use to take down the triumvirate. Say that again? When I touched the blade, I saw our victory, but I'm not trained to interpret such things. I pray for the cooperation of Valinorth. All right. One of his advisors approaches, careful not to startle him. I would date him too. Damik is very dateable. <laughs> They're probably all very dateable. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. What if he's what if he's cheap? He he is the leader of like a rebellion. He could be very cheap. When he realizes he's detected and let out a soft yawn. Another one of those sleepless nights, Damek. Hi. I can't blame you. It's been the same with me. Uh did I hear you say something about Valinorth? What? Hey. Hi. Yeah, I was uh, thinking out loud. In Valinorth, there's a person who can peer. Is there the twin Ulrichs? That's why I had Pro bring the blade. Because that would week. be amazing. <laughs> that would be great. Okay. Uh, what? That's why I had a Pro bring the blade here last week? I'm aware of their culture, but their seers use spirits, not a blade. Do you think it will be that easy? No. Worth a gamble, isn't it? It's not my place to wield knowledge of the future. But the seers are experts, conditioned from birth. Is that me? Pro Maybe. Sent word that the current seer is male. His investigation is progressing slower than I'd like. We need to pick up the pace. Nah, he fast. seems cool and he's leading the whole rebellion. Got to get me a man with power. <laughs> Fair enough. He's got all. Well, they both got power in very different ways, but 
Hey, are you saying he's calling me slow? I just realized that he's calling me slow, though. He's like, the current Sears mail, his investigation is progressing slower than I'd like. You know what, damn it. Dad, I'm doing my best, okay? I. <sighs> now that they have the blade, they're a target. The Triumvirate is likely planning their attack as we speak. That's why I've decided to send an experienced fighter. Is it... is it Ulrich? Ulrich, maybe? I guess that's me. Yeah, you've got that big sword and that deep V. <laughs> I've had the mayor of Mazio write up a decree. Oh. It will allow you entry and the ability to complete what Pro started. On paper and to everyone Who's else, Pro? it's a simple export. All right, that's a name you just Old said. Milus knows the importance of this blade. All now, now, Damek, that's Valinor, big news. We know me. none of the women that in Valinar for the seer. Now we know Ulrich. that, yeah. Okay. Wait, oh, yeah. You seem to think that will be easy. It's not likely they know the truth of Valinor. I can bring the seer, but they'll just decline. Maybe. Pro is a really cool dude. Are they? They all seem pretty cool so far. Present yourself as a mercenary, not a rebel. Tell them a meeting of importance is happy in Mazio. Oh, wait. I just realized Ulrich's been lying to us this whole time in this vision. Is what I'm saying, because he, he basically was like, they're all cool. Well, he's been lying to us, though, because he's like, oh, rebellion? What's that? I don't know anything about no rebellion. And then he's, this whole thing's happened. Dishonesty. Great way to start a partnership. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to make it up to me, buddy. You're really going to have to make it up to me. I'll think of something. I'll think of something. <laughs> oh, I'll... I'm going to... Yeah. I'll think of something. Anyway. I'm going to put that... All right, whatever. He had to lie, though, for your safety. Maybe. Maybe. It worked for us, don't you remember? Look at how invaluable you've become. Ulrich laughed and turned, uh, and turned to look at the dark depths of the tunnels. Oh my, is that a euphemism? He can make it up to you in my bed. Goodness oh, me. Oh dear, it Whoa. seems that the wolves and the furries are howling tonight. They are. But sorry, I don't bite that way. Maybe try someone else, or a figment of your imagination. Rar XD. <laughs> oh, man. Having a Listen, only the cool kids join well, the conspiracy they sure did. on Discord. Having an ally so, cast light on the future would there. be a tremendous Just boon. Saying. I would be boon. So this is it, isn't it? With the seer at our side, they can direct us. We can secure the victory that you witnessed. I almost don't believe it, but it's true. Now I have to be honest with you, Ulrich. There's a reason why I'm sending you. Theo, I wasn't hitting on you. I was hitting on Ulrich. Well, you know, it's it, he, he is over on. Well, he's not even on the same side. Theo does believe it's always about him. So you're never going to be able to convince him otherwise. It's just the way it goes. Uh, what he, what happened? Oh my God! No, hold on. There we go. And what's that? I don't know. What is that? He may not be strong enough to face what's coming. It's not just a hunch that Valinorth will be attacked. In our victory, I saw its death and destruction. Well, that seems kind of bad. Like, I see. No, yet. Well, no, that's my job, Ulrich. You can't take my job, okay? <laughs> He's calling you weak. He is calling me weak. They, they they pretty much called me slow and weak so far. This is really not going well for me. So I ask that you protect the seer and his allies at all costs. And when you come across Pro, have him join you as well. I'll make sure to prepare an exquisite welcoming party. What does that mean? Is it maybe... I don't know what you mean. I am a little slow and, 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 and weak, so I don't really know what that means. I'll leave first thing in the morning. What did you see exactly? Nothing you can't fight your way out of, but trust me, it will show them the truth. And when you get back... Ulrich, we have roles fight. in this team. You can't just take someone else's. No, you can't. I am the seer. I will do the seeing. You will close your eyes this entire time, okay? That's the rules. But promise me one thing. Uh-huh. One thing only. That along the way, the seer touches the blade. If he can wield it, then we have our greatest weapon. Now, when you say it touches the blade, is that a euphemism? Because that's fine. Also, is that the blade he just gave me in the, the vision? 
Well, or hasn't done that. We entered Milus's house and immediately spread out. Why? After a few moments, it's evident that nobody is here. Ulrich sighs, but Valesa isn't ready to give up. I don't know what you expected. You think the Elder would just stay here? Maybe. I assume he's at the Grand Tree as well. It's a nice house. He might, you know, be very protective of it. No, there has to be something here. It's not him, but his books as well. He must have some kind of record. Like, like one of these books over here? Or there's one right there? We just kind of look around. There's also a bunch up here. Do you want to just keep looking? Record of what exactly? What was that bell? Ulrich, the Triumvirate is burning down Balinorth. They seem to think we're caught up with the rebels. Thinking the Elder is clueless? <laughs> That's stupid. Well, he he just asked a question. I don't know, uh, Danik, I feel Ulrich is hiding a lot of things that will slowly be revealed over a whole two-season arc, like uh, that he killed y Yugi's partner or something. You What? Um, what? She's being mean. First of all, he just asked a question, Valesa. Then he walks over to the large window and looks outside. We're all relieved that the farm or the flames haven't reached us yet. Looks as though some papers, uh, she whispers to herself. Come on, Milas, give us something. You're smarter than this. I know it. Shipping manifests anything. With a renewed determination, Ulrich examines the large table. He shuffles the papers aside and flips through the books. It's almost like he's in a rush to find something first. None of this is helping, Valesa. It's everything you'd expect to find. No, oh, there has to be something here. Come on, Seer, give us a hand. I have a controller in my hands. I, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm kind of in a bind here. Okay, so you're just gonna have to go with that. Oh, exploration tutorial. You can freely move the cursor around the screen. Uh, it will change when you hover a bunch of interactable object. Clicking on these objects will interact with them. Click on the icons of your comrades to initiate conversation with them. These icons can show how many books are in the area, how many you found. Uh, this icon, is, when applicable, takes you to the world map, and this icon opens the save menu. Optional. It's optional, but highly recommend you talk to your comrades. Well, oh, what is? Oh, is that? Oh, those are cute. That, oh, there's a book I have. To, there's more than one book. Where are they? Am I supposed to be able to see them? I would like to interact with my co. Oh, they're right there. So I do that. I see. Okay, let's do that one. Hi. How are you, big boy? You you having a good trip? I know the burning village outside might be a bit of a bummer, but we shouldn't let that control our feelings, okay? Find anything useful? Where did you come from? Have any theory about this? What is, uh, what are your thoughts on our culture? This seems like a wrong time to be answering that. Okay, let's just do, I wonder if these are all like just random questions. Let's do, um, again, where, where did you come from, big boy? Oh, mm, let's, do, uh, let's do that one. Huh? You mean today or in general? I don't know. Either one? Where were you born? I mean, that seems like... Oh. I'm a mercenary from Mazeo. Uh... I was actually hired to come bring you back there. A summit is happening and they want your input. Mine? Well, I am an expert on soft cheeses. Does that help? Okay. Quick, tell him oh, he has he has a nice butt. Oh. Well, everyone's got their preferences, I suppose. But sorry, I don't do butt ratings. You're on your own with that one. <laughs> that was a weird one. Can you tell me he has a nice butt, but like the Diary of Whippy Kid movie? I didn't see that movie, so I'll have to tell me more about Mazeo. <laughs> Uh, what kind of summit is this? You need my input or my power. This timing is awfully convenient. I'm gonna go with that, with that seems, I'm gonna go with the, mm, the timing of this is awfully convenient. You know, what kind of summit is this? Because central location is the perfect meeting spot. The generals from Alarinthia and Baldia... <laughs> Guess Theo's annually. more of a tits guy? I'm no, he does like parts, butts. So He's a big butt fan. This one out. What? Oh. Generals of Arlanthia and Bal Balto? Sit Balto like the wolf? Okay. Annual Valinorf nonpartisan. So usually sit this one out. 
I don't know what any of that means. Maybe it's a chance to get Valinor more invested in Alestian politics. But they want your input and I've been sent to pick you up. I guess it's a good thing I got here when I did, right? Yeah. Great timing. Uh oh, do you need my tell me but uh thing? It's basically the hub of Alestia. Ports from there uh -huh. to the rest of the known world. Oh. A huge city of commerce. It's full of strange people. Like you? You don't see you seem pretty nice. I I bet you're I bet you're a big softie on the inside. I bet you are. But you'd get stabbed in the back before you find help. Really? That's what puts people like me in business. Protectors of the weak. Hey, well, that's the second time. You guys, listen, I, I do lift weights sometimes. I'm not, like, super weak all the time. I'm not as big as you, but, you know, I don't have those big rippling muscles and gigantic pectoral muscles, but that doesn't mean I'm weak, okay? I feel like you guys are really harping on this a little bit too much, and I don't know how I feel about it, okay? What is this? Oh, I need my power or my input. Look, I don't ask for specifics. I do this to get paid and make a living. If you want, feel free to ask them when we get there. I will. I will be giving you a review on Yelp. You know that, right? Okay. And that is, if you two even Tell them uh, you won't help if they keep right calling now, you weak. Exactly. I'm going to be like, listen. We will discuss the rest once we're out of harm's way. Right. All right. Uh, this timing is awfully convenient. Is that an accusation of some kind? Yes. Where I come from, you don't accuse the guy with the bigger sword. I'll pretend I well, can hear that and carry on with it. Is that a... Are you... You don't know that. You don't know that. Also, these damn door dashers are getting quite rude. <laughs> Who are the door... Oh, what? Who's the door dash? Are you doing door dash? Did you get, did they, uh, what did you buy, what did you get? I'm gonna go back. Oh, oh, I still have more. Find anything useful? No, there's not much here. But I guess if we spread out, we stand a better chance. Not that there's too much ground to cover. Oh, it seems pretty big to me. You know, like, for a village house, I, I don't know, like, probably shouldn't. Ulrich is, uh, door dash, he's door dashing you? He might be. <laughs> What should I look for? If I knew, we'd have found it already. Valessa seems to think Milas left something behind, but he isn't dumb. He wouldn't. That you know of. Him. Okay. If it were up to me, we'd all be long gone. I can't fight your choice, though. It's your village. Let's do our best to hurry and get out of here. Alrighty. I mean, you probably could, because I'm so weak. You probably just grab me and drag me out of this house if you wanted to, but, you know, you didn't you well, yeah, you would say that normally. Responsible. Uh -huh. Alestia is divided into four nations, right? The Valinorth, Maseo, Alarinthia, and Baltius. Yes, I knew that, 100%. That is in my brain. I knew that. You didn't think I knew that, did you? You look really concerned. Each nation has a general that serves the triumvirate. They rule in their stead and make sure everything runs smoothly. Except, you guessed it, the elder or general of Valinorth. Mm-hmm. Is that my, 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 who, whose house are we in? Some with an M? I don't know. No one really knows why you remained untouched for so long. But the theory is that they don't want to anger the spirits. You know, because of all that spiritual energy residing. Mylas, that's it. Thank you. So I'm thinking this is a power play. Take the fourth nation and control the whole world. They did the same thing to Mazeo about 20 years ago. What do they do? The same thing that's happening here, but with less fire. Well, that is very the different. Place the general in charge. Okay. They used terrible force, but the town improved because of it. You're not selling this as a bad thing. <laughs> I'll never well, the fire might methods, be. But Mosea was peaceful. Uh huh. If they're burning villages down now, though, unforgivable. Perhaps the rebellion isn't. So it's not a bad thing. The guy made it sound like it. They're like, well, it seemed bad at the time, but you know, things are better now. So I guess that's okay. Oh, what are your thoughts on our culture? I feel like that's a weird question for right now. It's not like anything I've seen before. All right. So in tune with the spirits, you let them govern you. 
the rest of Alestia has history in their own hands. Right. Not that it's a bad thing, of course. It's just different from the rest of the world. From what I've seen, the spirits have a good grasp on things. So you'd live here if you had the chance? That's a good question. I'm, I'm kind of encouraged. Well, let's not jump to conclusions. I'm a cell sword. There's no business in peace for me. After I retire, though, it's always an option. You know, I got a little space in my little hut. Oh, wait. it Unless it's on fire, but hopefully not. Anyway. If I live long enough to retire, that is. My business isn't exactly the safest in the world. Right. What's going on here is pretty good proof of that. You're right. It is pretty unsafe. Better get behind me. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that it? I think we're done. All right. See you later, Ulrich. It was great talking to you. Uh, what about you? Huh? Hmm? <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Find anything useful. I wish. This whole place is a mess. Honestly, right. I don't even know what to look for. I don't either. Well, this isn't stupid, though. Uh huh. Leave something. Is that like. Is that like. My list is like. You know what I mean? It, it seemed bad, but actually turned out to be pretty good. Yeah, you know how it goes. My list is. Um, the. Like. Miley Cyrus. You see what I'm saying? It's Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Miley's? Hmm. Do you think we're seeing a. I think we know what's going on here. I think we've uncovered the mystery. We've really, really uncovered that one. We found the deep decks of the. Uh, the thing that's going on here. <laughs> well, I know what's going on. I got it all up here in my brainy parts. You know, it's uh, nothing you can hide from me with that stuff. How long has he been the elder? Honestly, only a few months. He was thrust into the position against his will. Ouch. Something happened to his father, the previous elder. What happened to his dad? Was that... Not... Was that Billy Ray? Big brain lean. Billy Ray got... Something happened to Billy Ray. But he's done such a good job. It's crazy. The leadership of Valinor did not skip a beat. He must have been training under his father. What happened to his pops? <laughs> yeah, don't speak too soon. Look what's happening. Yeah, he's doing a real good job. The whole fucking village is on fire. <laughs> oh, I'm a smart ass, but I'm not wrong. <laughs> Nobody knows, actually. He went on a trip to Mazio and never uh, came back. This Mazio so place just sounds horrible. It's like he vanished. All right. Well, that sucks. I hope he comes back. Normally, we'd hold an election, but things were crazy. That and Valamarth is really big on family and tradition. Everyone just seemed oh, to expect no. that Miles The village went over. up in flames? <laughs> it's been quite a heated situation. Blaming one person won't solve anything, though. Maybe focus on rebuilding and finding a new Myor. Ooh. Myor? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, I got burned be down because of my hate our new mayor. That would be funny if they were to do that. Anyway, Theo, I blame you. I blame you, Theo. If anybody's to blame, it's definitely you. Um, what about, oh yeah, with Miley Cyrus. Okay, how long you seem to think highly of him? He's performed admirably for the position he's in. Right. I doubt even a full election would find a better candidate. Maybe. I was scared for a while, but he really filled the role. Yeah, he sure did. So it was Theo when he was trying to dodge suspicion. He he definitely burned the whole village. Theo, are you the uh, what's-his-face's other apprentice? You know, the guy who was like, I like to work alone. Also, I have an apprentice. <laughs> also, he didn't want to do it, but he kind of had to. If he doesn't want to do it, he shouldn't have sure to. Maybe he should step up. But it was seamless. He almost couldn't notice. Hmm. Uh, Savi and Hallen. Oh, yeah. So, oh, Savi and Hallen, but also Theo is the third guy. Uh, maybe I should step up after all this is over. Oh, well. Life puts you in some crazy situations. Oh, it's just nuts, right? <laughs> crazy would have guessed. Uh, if he doesn't want to, he shouldn't have to. I guess, but we can't all get what we want. It's not like I grew up wanting to be a scribe. He'll grow into the role. I'm sure of it. All right. Fair enough. But we can worry about that after this is over. There's lots to do, and we can't even find him. I really hope that nothing bad has happened. Well, he's probably 
Wait, I was right. Do you did you catch that? He's new. He's not even actually an elder. He's actually kind of young. I actually know the guy, Halion, and it's weird because he's a really nice guy, unlike the character. Oh, really? Okay. Like, you know the voice actor is what you're saying? Um, I was right, though, because I said that I bet the elder is not actually an elder. He's probably just like a normal young dude. And I was right. I was right about that. 100%. What if he's helping the rebellion? Nah, but the person who owns the... Oh, okay. So is this one of those situations kind of like, uh, um, with, uh, with, uh, with Pockets Jabari that came into our chat from Small Saga? Was it like a Patreon thing or did they just like... Because that, that's what happened there. What is the helping of... What if he's helping the rebellion? I want to get to the bottom of it then. There's more going on than we can take at face value. Uh-huh. He have his reasons, and he I might. want to hear all of them. All right. I want to hear maybe one of them. I, I don't like getting too deep into the conversation. Could anything excuse what's going on right now? Uh, I'm sure he'd sure have a lot of explaining to do. And it's something I'd happily listen to. That is... I met him while stealing us. people for my game. I'm got it. Until I hear nah, more. but the person... Okay, got it. He's one of Clay's friends. Oh, cool. That's nice. Oh, how convenient. So he's friends with Clay? I guess that explains a lot. Birds of a feather and all that. <laughs> Got any juicy gossip about this friendship? Yeah, we all want to know. We all want to know. Give us the dirty details. Um, we can't condemn him based on a vision like this. We can't? That's like hating someone for what they do in a dream. Besides, we have no, no way of confirming this that, fault. No, you're saying... Okay, listen. You That is not good logic you're basically saying like we should use this vision to prevent it from happening because the vision can give us useful information you're like but we also can't hold people accountable for things that they do in the vision that doesn't make sense either it is done or it isn't what's that tom cruise movie i'm thinking of right now with uh with the the, the policing with things that haven't happened yet i forgot what it's called Something like that. You know what I'm talking about. Don't stare at me like that and just pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. You speak up. <laughs> All right. Well, let me just go back now. Oh, we've got. Are you sure this is a vision? I hope so. I'm making a pretty educated guess. I'm trained to detect this kind of stuff. Oh yeah. It's so weird because. Wait. This are feels you? Like reality. Wait. No, that doesn't. Again, if it's a vision, then it's not you. It is future you maybe i don't really know how this works what's going to happen to me i don't know i mean technically i'm not real right <sighs> that's hard to take in this feels real to me okay but the way you're acting yeah it makes me certain it's it's vision weird. her lucid and vision. maybe yeah i guess that's true and i'm very sure what evidence besides the only evidence that you have is that I don't remember anything and I could maybe I got really drunk. Who knows? Like what? <laughs> They're just like, oh, actually, no, it's not a vision. I'm just really hung over right now. Better not talk about it too loud, though. I don't want Ulrich to realize something is up. The rules state that only you and I can know. Rules? What kind of rules are there? There's entire books written on this. Wait, wait. But we're all in. We're all live in vision. In vision. Yes. Up with the spirit we, so we all live in vision. In a vision, maybe. Howdy, Alex Wolfkin. How's it going, Axel? Well, yeah, Axel. Well, sorry, well, Axel Wolfkin. How Mr. are you? Howdy, howdy. <laughs> Trying to bring some country charm into the chat. Heck yeah, but country charm. All it is. You're like weed than a cowboy. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. How's it going? Hope you're having a good day, Axel. Welcome to the stream. I am. That face. You really like that pose. <laughs> you really like that. And that's okay. These are gifts. Blessings. Directly from the realm of spirits. It sure is. They're not in any position to harm what they give us. Oh. What? Uh, how long do they last? You know, because I might have had plans earlier. And I don't want to be late. Also, um, yeah. If it's not of it, why do spirits give me vision? I don't know, man. I don't even as long know as any other dream, I guess. Or maybe when the spirits decide you've seen enough. That's one of the things we don't really know. Okay. 
I guess something traumatic like your death would happen. Tumbleweed? Yes. Aren't fit to comprehend what <laughs> You're like a tumbleweed is blowing, blowing in the wind. A blowing in the wind. I wasn't paying attention. What did you just say? <laughs> Something about comprehend next we should make okay. We do have here got it What do you mean by that? Maybe because they're bored who's bored because the The spirits are bored. They could be where's my cursor. There it is uh, Why do the spirits give me visions because I'm a tumbleweed just blowing in the wind Nobody knows but we assume it's to protect us if we know it's coming, we can change what happens. Seers have done it time and time again for thousands of years. That's a big assumption. A lot of people think they'll want something in exchange. That they're planting seeds to reap later down the line. Ah. <sighs> Stupid superstition, if you ask me. They Nobody helps help. for free, Valesa. We must be eternally grateful. I'm eternally grateful for this blessing that allows me to forget everything every once in a while. The spirits are bored, so they're like, yo, check this out. There's like, dude, what if we do this thing? Check it out. Like, <laughs> they're like, anybody want to take bets on what he's going to do? <laughs> yeah, I agree. There's nothing more pure than the spirits. Want to take a bet? Without the visions, we'd have died out ages ago. You know, I'm already starting to realize, Jojo, that these visions that they're talking about in this game sound a little familiar. I got $50 on them saving the village. They sound a little familiar. You know what I mean? A little bit. Kind of a little bit. A smidgen. I don't know. What is this? You call this a gift? This particular vision, no. But the concept of visions in general, yes. Sounds familiar. Without them, we'd have gone extinct long ago. Okay. They guide the world to a better oh, future. Oh, they're a and lot more familiar later. Uh oh. In return, we'll Only see. Continue to We're harness gonna find out. Power. We're gonna find out soon-ish, I think. Not soon, probably not. Okay, back. We've known each other our whole lives. How come I don't remember you? Yeah, it's just like I said, for better or worse. I was trained to be your scribe from a young age. You said the worst part. Ever since. You said the worst part, really, really emphasizing that part. So <laughs> I must be really difficult to work with. It's not exactly what I grew up wanting. But I'm not in a position to shun Valinor's tradition. Besides, I can think of people much worse to serve. But not that much worse. All right. <laughs> what are the scribes' duties? Actually, you're seeing them firsthand. <laughs> uh huh. Confused you'd be without me. We're well, supposed to guide you. Through I'm these not missions. less confused. Oh, they're a lot more familiar later. Got it. All right. I'm. But I'm... when you wake up, you also need to report to me, or. I guess you can report to Milas in these dire circumstances. Either way, I help you in here and you report out there. Got it. But, wait. Huh, oh, okay. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't remember this. You'd wake up, shrug So she doesn't off, hate you, but day. she doesn't like you. No, <laughs> she's pretty She's pretty much like, uh, you know, if I could do other things, I might. Uh, seems like you're almost more important than me. Uh, of course not. We're two sides of the same. Coin. There's that face again. Honestly, I wouldn't be able to do there anything without you. Oh. A scribe would do little good without visions to inhabit. True. Wait, are you the only scribe? Yes and no. Actually, it's pretty technical. I'm your only scribe, but there's also a scribe in training. His name is Fortin, and he's prepared to take over if needed. Oh, who's that? It's a recent addition to the ranks, but it helps out a lot. Without a scribe, your abilities would be pretty useless. Having someone Thanks. fully trained that, means no one misses That me. hurt. That really hurt. <laughs> oh, so she's like, well, you know, if you weren't seeing these visions, we all pretty much know you'd be a useless bastard. And I'm like, well, listen, I, you know, I'm doing my best, guys. I really am. 
Imagine if you had this vision while I was gone. Just from that, I think you can gauge Fortum's importance. Well, we haven't met him, so I don't know. Hey, winds have changed. I have, uh, I have this on my Switch. Nice. Yeah, I just, uh, this is on the Switch. This is a PC version, but I did see it on there. Uh, but yeah, we played, uh, Call Marebi not that long ago, and it, you know, I decided this is a, the next logical step. Even though this game came before that one. So it'll be next logical step backwards, but that is neither here nor there. What did you just say? Fortame. We need to meet him. He's a nice guy, but I'm, I'm sure he's long since fled. I'm sure you'll meet him when you get out of here. He tends to knock on your door. I have yet thing. to play that. Holy shit. Oh, Kama Yeah, handle, it, it's right? pretty good. Also, not knowing uh, you're in a vision is not remembering them seems really inconvenient. It really does. That is, that's like the spirits kind of being like, <laughs> we got him. Got him. What am I doing? How long have we known each other? <laughs> Our whole lives, as we've already said. Since I was a little kid, actually. I was trained to be your scribe from the moment I could speak. It's a prestigious position, and I couldn't exactly say no. I uh, just played uh, WC recently. Oh, Winds of Change, and despite following Clay since before it came out. Ah, oh, okay, so just recently. So that was your first time playing it. Got it, okay. Um, what am I doing? Some of the other children were jealous. Their parents, too, which seemed really immature to me. Apparently, there's some Yee. competition for the role. Why? Oh, is it like a... It's like a but the status thing. And like it or not, here I am. I guess I'm just blessed that I actually do like this arrangement. In the end, the spirits really were looking down on me. Like down on you, down on you? Like, or, you know, just looking, looking down because they're up there. But I don't know. Going back through uh, for other endings and achievements. Got it. Here right now is terrifying. I'm still happy doing my duty to save Valinorth. It's a dream come true. We don't know if the other kids would have fit this role. We don't. I don't even know them. Are you really forced to do this? Well, I guess the answer is both yes and no. Before my parents passed on, they took care of the paperwork. Until I came of age, I had no choice but to obey. All right. When I did come of age, however, I got to choose. Leave Valinorth and pursue my own dreams, or be your scribe. <laughs> I guess it's pretty obvious which one I chose, huh? I don't- I don't- Are you not paying attention? I don't remember a goddamn thing, so I don't know. Maybe you did leave, and this is like, this, the scribe version of you. So, while I was forced into the role, I chose to stick with it. Although, if this is any indication, we might have to leave out. You, yeah, you In watching. Case, I see you. I if you have not hit follow, I don't know. Why not just do it? Hey, Come on. best of both worlds. Aren't you glad that our entire village is on fire and probably everybody we knew growing up are dead? It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, and same to you. Look at this vision. We're going to do great things. Let's get to the bottom of this and save our village together. Might be too late. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, okay. Hmm. Um. I guess I spoke to them. I gotta look for a book. Is it this one? I push aside a few things and looking for anything of note. It's so cluttered that it's hard to find anything at all. Ehrlich slams his hand on the table, startling me. This is my spot. Find somewhere else to look, all right? We what what the more ground that we want is thing. very rude, Ulrich. I'm, you know, Ulrich is coming off a little rude right now, okay? I'm just gonna put that out there. Uh, what am I doing? There's a looking for a thing. Okay. He seems awfully defensive. Ulrich, buddy, you get intense. We just need to work out some of those knots in the shoulder, you know? We're gonna give you a little back rub. It'll be nice. And you'll appreciate it. I notice he keeps looking at the papers, almost like he knew what he wanted to find. Maybe he does. What do I got over here? I got this thing. There, stuff on the table. I walk over to the bookshelf and see what I can find. It seems to be full of books about Spirit Realm and Valinorth. Somehow, I don't think either of these subjects will help. Eventually, I come across a book about the Rebellion. I doubt it's what we need, but I decide to take a look. As I open it up, a piece of paper falls out. Oh. note. 
Recently, the Rebel Alliance has reached out to me. Uh -huh. First, I pushed them away, thinking them little more than a rogue group of bandits. But they said they knew the truth about my father. How could they know? In my situation, it was hard to resist temptation. I had to ask them exactly what they knew. The truth shocked me, and I have yet to tell anybody. I might take it to my grave. Oh, it's not that seems dramatic. Expected, but it did shake me to my core. I see. My father was in the middle of an important task. As his son, I felt that it was my duty to help finish it. I have no hatred for the Triumvirate. This is simply a matter of familial ties. Were anybody posed with such a situation, I doubt their actions would differ from mine. Well... It doesn't seem too difficult. I don't either. know about that. They've given me a blade and tasked me with protecting it. In the next little while, they will send an envoy to pick it up. At that point, I am to send someone special with them. I must keep their name secret so nobody finds out. Me? This Are they doing about me? Will be coming any day. Already? I can't wait to meet him. I've been told that he knew my father, and he would have all manner of stories to tell. Ah, uh, see, that gives away the whole liar of an Ulrich story. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna keep. Keep. Wait. Should I show the no? Continue. No. Continue. Wait. If I say no. I'm gonna keep exploring. I crawl under the table. Uh, it's full of useless trinkets. Whatever we're looking for, I doubt it's hey, down here. Playtime. Get out from under there. How about you joining me? Oh yeah, baby. You wanna come down here? I bet you'd love it. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. If you pass for authority around here, we're all dead. That well okay. You get out from under the table after Ulrich's verbal lashing. Oh man, I'm just, I'm striking out. He must have disagreed, but we had to search everywhere. Oh my god, damn, he rejected you so hard. I know, I just got totally told. I got told. A map of, uh, known Alestia. I've seen it many times. We're in Valinorth with Mizeo to the north. East of Mizeo is our 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 Arinthia Arinth our our I words are hard um our uh, I don't know why I can't say this Alarinthia there it is Alarinthia and the north of Baltius uh these four nations make up our world one of water fire of water earth and in and, and, and wind it, it's the four nations each governed by their own general of the triumvirate except for valinorth which has remained non-partisan it's odd how i remember the basics but little else i wonder if this attack is an attempt to occupy valinorth after that all four nations would be under their control perfect that seems like a good goal baby I walk over to Valesa and stand beside her. She's hard at work reading papers and pushing books aside. I've never seen someone quite so determined. Hey, have any luck yet? Sorry, I was just watching you. It's kind of... Is that creepy? Oh, uh, all right. But maybe you should look as well. I'm going to be creepy about it. I'm oh, sorry. I was just staring at you while you search for things. Is that okay? Are you okay with that? Does that make you feel weird? How do you feel about that? And she's like, uh, yeah, okay. I nod and I turn back to the rest of the room. I guess I should help out instead of watching them. She was certain we'd find something and I trusted her, which I did find. What is that? I have no idea what this pot is doing on the floor. Milas may have been a good leader, but he was not organized. He probably just left everything in a hurry. The mess means he was looking for something, right? Maybe it was something to leave behind for us. Maybe. How do I, uh, oh, I found this book. Milas's note. I, Recently. nope. Hold on, I've already done that. Why am I not? I, he's, he, he or he's just not organized. It could be either one. Milas is How do I... Skip that. How do I skip? Milas is not. Milas is no blah 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 blah. The Rebel Alliance is blah blah blah. I can't skip it for some reason. But we're just gonna do this whole thing over again, okay? Note. Recently, the Rebel Alliance. What if I want to skip? Nope. At first, I pushed them away, 
thinking them little more than a rogue group of bandits. But they said they knew the truth about my father. How could they know? In my situation, it was hard to I'm gonna let him finish this because I feel like we've reached them exactly what they a knew. theoretical limit of the this screen. Shocked me. Potentially, have yet to we'll see. Anybody. Could be wrong. Take it to my grave. It's not the truth I expected, but it did shake me to my core. My father was in the middle of an important task. As his son, I felt that it was my duty to help finish it. Uh -huh. I have no hatred for the triumvirate. This is simply a matter of familial ties. Were anybody posed with such a situation, I doubt their actions would differ from mine. It doesn't seem too difficult either. They've given me a blade and tasked me with protecting it. In the next little while, they will send an envoy to pick it up. At that point, I am to send someone special with them. I must keep their name secret so nobody finds out. This envoy, however, will be coming any day. I can't wait to meet him. I've been told that he knew my father, and he would have all manner of stories to tell. Perfect. I mean, okay, yes, so I think we're done. I'm going to say yes. This is it. This is what we needed. I call over Ehrlich and Valesa, showing them what I found. Ulrich seems tensed up, and then a little anxious. So Milas was working with the Rebellion. Apparently, he was sheltering Blade. Could that be why they attacked us? Maybe. Doing all this for a Blade? Let's be realistic, Valesa. Now hold on there, Ulrich. It must have been very important. I'm assuming Milas took it with him. I don't see any blades lying around here. You did give me one. Are we just going to ignore that? But about this envoy he mentioned, and this supposed special person. Oh, Ulrich, guys, okay, why I'm. Why did you lie to us? Ulrich, why did you lie to us? It's true. Anybody would have figured it out by now. It seems to admit defeat and closes his eyes. Almost like he didn't want us to see us as he spoke. We didn't think you'd come if you knew. I tried to hide it, but okay. there's no problem. I was about to say they I might be dumb. Attack, I need to request I'm glad they figured that out. Because <laughs> otherwise it'd be like, mm, you might be a little dumb if you're not this getting this. far from the first village they'll raise. They're up to something much bigger. That's why you wanted to come here, right? Alrighty, you're right. That is why I came here. Yeah, you're right. There's a little time to argue and nowhere else to go. It looks like you got what you needed, Ulrich. Let's head back to the Grand Tree. There might still be time. We nod, acknowledging the unspoken truth. Ulrich didn't care about those in the Grand Tree. Okay, but like, the rebels could have just hired a mercenary. They could have, but they also, like, yeah, it was just kind of dumb. We all, we only knew that he was coming, uh, coming, that coming here would blow his cover. But I know that information would be a huge advantage. We had a probable cause for their attack, and we knew Milas' secret. We head back to Town Square and instilled with hope. But none of this is actually happening. So... Awkward! Huh. Oh. What is this thing in the middle? The flames have spread, but it's not too bad. Alright, so it's just a little fire damage, you know, it'll buff out. It'll buff right out if we just, you know, buff that thing. It'll be fine. Uh, I need to make sure I didn't inhale too much smoke. As we take it slow, cautious steps, my mind is conflicted. There's... There's one thing I can't seem to get my mind off of. This blade, or whatever it was, was it worth all this? Destroying an entire culture over something so simple? Sorry, I can't see all that well. You two will have to lead the way. The town square is burning, but we're, we're still good. I'm not familiar with the surroundings. We crouch and make our way through Valinorth. I have a raising urge to cough, but I try to hold it back. We wouldn't want we wouldn't want to make it uh, in this far and get caught. The water tank is cracking and leaking all its contents. I'm guessing that's that thing. A small stream trickles down through the village. It would be our best chance or tool to hinder the flames. This isn't right. Not at all. Where is everyone, Ulrich? There's not a single body. That is weird. Like I said, they could be at the Grand Tree. It's isolated and far away from here. I'm willing to bet the flames won't reach it. It doesn't make any sense, though. Think about it for a second. In that alcove, we heard screams. Did we? 
D- d- did we? Okay. The people of Valinor were dying. Not only burning, but getting attacked. There should be bodies all over the place. Well, that is pretty morbid. Um, Valesa, be a little bit more on the optimistic side. Maybe there's only a few bodies all over the place. She was right, and it bothered me as well. The current scene didn't match what we heard. Uh, was it possible for the vision to wrap or warp this way? What are you suggesting, Valesa? Do you think they stole the bodies? That's weird. If they did, there'd be blood. There's nothing, not even a trace. It doesn't make any sense, Ulrich. I'd say you're right, for argument's sake. Why is it more important than going to the Grand Tree? Talking about it only seems to be wasting time. Well, you know, you got when you're right, you're right. There might not be anybody at the Grand Tree. I don't think we know where we're up against. We should cut our losses and run, Ulrich. All right, so the mood has changed very quickly. You need to make up your mind, Valesa. Running back and forth would get us all killed. Are we going to the Grand Tree or not? I bet it's my decision. It's true. She was changing her mind far too fast. At the moment, she seemed to value our survival. She, Or could she be starting to doubt that this is a vision? All, um, all I had to go on was her word. I only believe her because it made sense at the time. How could I gather information if we leave Valinorth? If you want to leave, we're going to Peregrino. It'd be the first place for survivors to flee. If Milas is there, he can tell us all about this attack. It's a good enough plan of action, and we nod to one another. But as we continue to move, everything changes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a problem. Uh-oh. Such loyalty to the man who condemned you all. If you want to know where Mylis is, I'd love to show you. I can even reunite you with the rest of the villagers. Okay, that's nice of you. Thank you for being so helpful. We stop in our tracks and look up to the water tank. A silhouette of a man stands there, gripping a large blade. It's white and gold, and uh, the majesty embellished by the flames. It reminds me of the suit of armor we fought earlier. I have no doubt that they were of the same sort of relation. We must be looking at a man responsible for this. He jumps down from the water tank and lands with a roll. I take a few steps back, ensuring that Ulrich remains in the front. It was his, uh, his it, it, if his job was protection, now was the time to shine through. What a pitiful little village. It's no fun when they don't put up a fight. Did you know what they did in their final moments? Probably shit their pants. I'm sorry about that. The smell must have been awful. They called out to you, Sia. Oh. They wanted your help, and you let them down. Oops. I guess <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. I heard about you were wrong. What? I, I listen. I don't even know who that daddy. He is kind of. He does give daddy vibes. He does have a little bit with the. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure. Is he like a goat? I can't figure out exactly what he's supposed to be. Is he a goat? Is that like a goat thing? I can't really. I'm. I'm really confused. So you already have the blade. Let us leave. We can resolve this peacefully. No survivors. Don't you remember the rule? Like a garden, we have to pluck all the weeds. All of them? That is so much work. Did you bring your gloves? Is that all these people are to you? I think he's a bull. They have a culture. Okay, maybe. I can see that. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yes, but it's not theirs that I'm interested in. In fact, I'm only here to claim the seer's soul. Everything else was just for fun. For sport. That you need new hobbies, my dude. Like you're gonna need some better hobbies. Because this becomes personal as they seem to know each other. They both work for opposing forces, I'm sure they fought before. It sickens me that he likens killing the villagers to a sport. You don't mean My orders had nothing to do with burning down this village. I wasn't supposed to kill anyone unless I had to either. But you know, my apprentice isn't very fun to train with. Disgusting. Valesa, take this seer and run. I'll catch up with you at Peregrino. 
All right. I guess I'm not making a choice. I'm just going to run for it. Ulrich pulls out his blade and assumes a fighting stance. Sabi does the same, and their eyes meet in deadlock. I look at Valesa, and we need and we nod before starting to run. Unfortunately, we don't make it very far. We hear Ulrich scream and turn back to look. Sabi smirks at us with a blade deep in... Oh, goddamn. Okay, well, that turned quickly. do you think quickly. you're going, you two? It would be rude to leave before I'm done with you. Watch. Well... And you'll see why you can oh, never win. Okay, uh, I'm watching. I'm gonna give you my two attentional eyes as I run in that direction, but be sure that I'm looking behind me. Ah. Uh, well, that's not good. Is, is Ulrich okay? Defying all possibility, the gear on the base starts to spin. Soon after, everything is engulfed by a blinding white light. Please, run. Yes. <laughs> we hear Ulrich's final words as the light subsides. When everything is back to normal, he's completely gone. No blood, no body, just Savi standing there with pride. What? What did you do? I don't know. I put his spirit to good use, like I plan to do with your little friend. I'm not... You don't know... Listen, okay, I may not be as big and muscly and bulgy as all the rest of you guys, but that doesn't mean I'm little. Can't be small shaming me. We just met. I don't know you, and I feel like that's inappropriate. He points behind us, and we turn to look. The scattered piece of armor on the ground starts to move. They assemble, forming bodies that move in a slow, stiff fashion. After a few moments, the movements become more natural. Uh, it isn't much longer until an army of automatons block our path. There was nowhere to go. Savi blocked the other side. He's also calling you weak, and Savi, it's not size that matters exactly. It's the... It's, you, it's you're what... You're using the spirits to power that armor. Does that mean we've been fighting our own? Uh, well, we fought one other, so... Now you finally understand. The force of life itself bends to the triumvirate. There's no way that you could hope to stop us. Well, that seems pretty morbid. All right. He takes a slow step toward me, uh, holding out his blade. I finally understood why it's so important to the triumvirate. They could command an army of spirits simply by possessing it. As soon as I harvest the seer's soul, I'll leave. Valesa, if you behave, I might let you go. Visit the rebels. Tell them what's coming. Alrighty. Do I... Valesa... You gonna do it? Uh, this is it. If he attacked me, the vision would end. I was armed with the information I needed to counter this attack. The true purpose, the major players, even the nature of the blade. He was so certain of his victory, he had no idea. I took a step forward, embracing was what to come. When this future came to Valinorth, we would be ready. Ow. I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go with ow. I'm gonna... Gonna say... I'm gonna go with ow. Ouch. Ouch. Okay? Listen, ouch. That... Owie. The pain is so intense, but I'm overcome with hope. As my vision fades, I find the strength to say one final thing. Hmm. It's over, Savi. You've already lost. Uh, well, I'm gonna say, mm, Savi, Savi, ouchie, they gave me a bobo. It's like a splinter. Hey, we got the prologue. All right, bye. It was a good meeting, both of you. Uh, and then also Ulrich, who definitely is dead. Hey, it's my room, I guess. I'm not very good at organizing things. Look at that. What is that? Uh, my eyes open as I instinctively clutch my gut. I'm like, oh, there's still a hole in there? Because that would be really unfortunate. The pain from the vision lingers, pulsing through my body. Panting heavily, I squirm in pain, waiting for it to fade. I fall off the side of my bed and slam into the floor. Thankfully, this makes uh, me fully lucid, stopping the pain. For a moment, uh, it's as if I existed in both scenarios. I rise to a sitting position and focus my breathing. Uh, still in shock uh, at what happened, my heart beats frantically. It takes a while before it slows down, but I happily wait. 
When these negative feelings subside, I stand up. The vision I experience plays in a loop in my head. I had to warn Milas. I had to ensure it didn't happen. A knock on my door or a sounds on my door and I look up in fright. After what I just saw, my mind is filled with anxiety. Thankfully, as a voice calls out to me, I'm put at ease. Hey, Seer, open up. Don't make me wait all day again. I don't know you. Uh, okay. It's Fortime. Oh, okay. He's my best friend and Valessa's student. As my scribe, she had to train a backup, so to speak. A terrible scenario to plan for, but it had to be done. As I rush over to the door, I quickly unlock it. Welcoming him in, I notice a huge grin on his face. I feel relaxed. Uh, it's a brief reminder of safety. Did you just wake oh. up? Oh, jeez. I hope he won't be late. Don't tell me you forgot what day it is. Uh. Oh, hi. Um. I don't know. What day is it? You're here, so it's cute guy day. <laughs> I like how you literally died. It's like, wake up, lazy bones. Yeah, it's like, are you been sleeping all I died, okay? It's not the same. Whatever it is, I don't need your help. You'll have to refresh my memory. Uh, okay. <laughs> I could... Mm. Well. All right. I can't help it. He's a... He's, uh, he's kind of a cute bunny, so I have to do it. Stop, Stop that. that. You're saying weird stuff again. I should be the one flattering you. Ah, uh, flirt, flirt, flirt. That's what Something I do. Like this only happens once a generation. It's my day? What do you mean by that? You're being officially inducted. You know, the ceremony to brand you as a seer? Like, it literally brand me? Ago, but oh. stuff got in the way. Like, what kind of stuff? Let's not delay it anymore, all right? Alrighty. Just sign this paper before we go. Milas wants it. Consent for the ceremony. Why do we need consent for it? Are they actually- are they literally branding me? Okay. <laughs> Yay, they gave you a cool tattoo. Yeah, they do? <laughs> oh, good. Alright, let's go. Let's just go with that. Thanks. This is exactly what I'll need. Put on something fancy. I'll wait outside. I'm gonna go completely in the nude. I think if they're gonna put a brand, they're gonna put it right on my patookas. I'm gonna let everybody see it the entire day. That's my plan. <laughs> Uh, okay. I reach out to try and stop him, but he's actually gone. Uh, it's for the better, though. He mustn't know what I saw. The only people authorized were to know were Milas and Valesa. I walk over to my wardrobe and look for an outfit. As Fortime pointed out, I'm still in my small clothes. That... Everything in this game is about how tiny and weak and insignificant I am, and I don't know. Birthday suit is very fancy, exactly. Uh, if it was a big day, I guess I'd have to dress the part. Wear elegant men's... Wear a beautiful... Interesting. I'm... Halfway tempted... Halfway, hold on. Wanna quick save that one? I am halfway <laughs> tempted. <laughs> I just go out there, I'm like, yeah, look, check this out. I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna wear that dress. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. 100%. We're going for it. Let's go. That should be a fine choice. <laughs> I slip into the dress and turn back to my room. I take in everything at once, it's a huge mess. Once I meet Fortime, we might be busy for a while. Uh, I should finish up any last minute business while I can. Uh, but at the same time, I shouldn't keep him waiting for long. Alrighty, I'm gonna look around for some stuff. I can't talk to you. can I? The character's not in your party. Do it, I was gonna do it, but I didn't know if it would change your gender. I don't think it does, or at least as far as I can tell it doesn't, but uh, that's interesting. What's here? Look at Fortime. Look, last time Fortime came over, he left over his journal. Of course, he's not, uh, nothing to hide, and he's always open. Also, no one can call, call you small. They can. They definitely can. Uh, often benefiting from his writings, he's smarter than he lets on. Do I think he's, uh, did I grow up being like, he's kind of dumb. I was, oh. And visions. The scribe of Valinorth is a very... That's not his position. voice. 
and one not to be taken. That's definitely not his voice. Tasked with hearing and All interpreting right. the visions of the seer or seeress, they bear a large mental burden. The spirits have their own language, and many visions are cryptic in nature. Okay. Though visions have become more clear over time, they started out as that a is not his voice. <laughs> It's almost as if, over many years, what is happening the here? of spirits has found ways to communicate more efficiently. This is interesting for many reasons. We must wonder if the realm of spirits is a physical entity, capable of growing and learning. There is no real explanation for this growing level of clarity in communication. It is widely believed that the realm of spirits hosts the souls of those who have left our world. But nobody has ever actually communicated with the dead or seen a long lost loved one. Instead, these spirits grant visions of the future to those capable of witnessing them. Almost like a warning, they've helped keep Valinorth safe and Alestia by extension. Either way, because the visions have become more straightforward, the scribe is more of a ceremonial position. Rather than carrying any real weight, it is just an attempt to continue Valinorth's tradition. Recently, Valinorth has given the scribe their own protege, someone to take over if the worst should happen. For this reason, I study valiantly under Valesa. Alrighty. For oh, did I just skip it? What did I do? Is that bad? What did I do wrong? Oh no. Uh, however, at the moment, the future seems very uncertain. On scribes and visions. Oh no. The scribe Can I just Valinor skip? How do you skip? You, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's take a look over here. The book um, on the true reach of spirits. It's a very divisive topic and came always or and one that's always debated. Oh, okay, here we go. Spirits. It is a wide. All right, we're getting the exposition. We're getting the info dump now. Because we're learning so much. Pure. We're learning. Are at areas we're learning. A happier and more fulfilling life. Right. While many are frightened at the ability for the spirits to influence our mood, they have yet to do so in a negative fashion. Uh huh. They so they say. So they say. Homes in areas surrounded by nature and this positive energy. Whether negative or positive, being influenced with unknown intent is concerning to many people. It seems to be tolerated simply because the power helps in a beneficial way. You what know if it. the realm of spirits were to lash out and make us aggressive or worse? What if they are conditioning our minds to slowly bend to their will? At that point, they could make us do any manner of bidding. Oh yeah. This is well. the thought that also keeps many away from such areas of Alestia. But, as there are numerous large cities, finding a home that suits your belief is far from impossible. Many ask the Triumvirate to speak on this, but they remain ever silent on the matter. Is it possible that not even our rulers know the true nature of the spirits and their reach? August Veyer. Who? Okay, thanks, August. That was nice. Should I- am I making my bed? What is over here? There's a lot of things. Can I- what is- there's a lot of stuff. Couldn't they already the uh, do that by manipulating your visions? It seems like right that here is Twitch probably true. Conservation Foundation. If you That's want probably to the last the stream book. in an awesome way What's this? and can afford it, check it out. This bread is hard as a more, rock. Check out the link in chat at thelemurreserve.org. But I guess it's better than nothing. I'm gonna hurry. I'll grab one uh, to eat on the go. Okay, I'm gonna have rock hard bread. My cooking space is so messy. It's embarrassing. I'm glad Fortime didn't say or stay and visit. Would have been a lecture after lecture. Maybe. Oh, that's my, still my cooking space. I got a plant! Is that a nice plant? I never water this plant anymore, but it's still alive. Allegedly, plant life is a container of spiritual energy. It's odd, because in that case, plants are immortal. Are they, though? I don't think so. I really wish I could just hop back into bed, but I guess I have responsibilities and stuff. Shouldn't keep Milas in the dark much longer. You're right. Also, what are these? I was supposed to gather bags of grain for Milas. Valinorth is uh, self-sustaining, so we take on our turns harvesting. But I think uh, I have something more important to talk to him about. Yep, that's true. What's this over here? One of my books is the uh, creation of Alestia. Algus Vialer is one of the most famous scholars in the world. I tried to collect some of his works, but he wrote so goddamn much. He on must Alestia's have had creation. the worst arthritis the in the knuckles. When Alestia came into existence, 
None have any foolproof evidence and are merely based on personal belief and the mm -hmm. condition of the individual. The most popular, however, is the belief that the Triumvirate created our world. This theory is strengthened by the fact that no history or records of history exist prior to their rule. Therefore, well, there is a very the obvious other explanation for that. <laughs> passed since the first recording of known history. All right. The triumvirate's arrival. But as the lack of evidence cannot be considered evidence itself, this is a topic of hot debate. The answer does not seem to be within our reach, and many scholars who dedicated their lives to this knowledge have since given up and moved on. Oh, the As quitters! On Alestia, They're quitters. Peace, Hundred percent quitters. Are considered a waste. Very of time. disappointing. If the triumvirate truly did create our world, then we must thank them, for they are very generous and righteous gods. Perhaps mm -hmm. one day, though, we will know the truth. Algus Veyer. All right, thanks, Algus. Appreciate you. Is that my sword? The sword has been above my head for as long as I can remember. That it's ceremonial. I couldn't really do anything in a fight. Fortime gave it to me when we were younger. That's how we met. Okay, then what am I doing now? Um, I gotta go. Is that my? There isn't much use for my arm water right now. I need to grab a dress, and that's all I need. Right, but maybe I'll organize it more when I get a chance. Fair enough. Where am I going? Is that window? Town looks so peaceful and quiet. It's a far cry from the what I saw last night. Hopefully this vision was far off and not impending. Maybe. Oh, well, that's the same information. How do I leave? Where do I go? <laughs> What's that? Do I do this? You're about to visit the world map for the first time and click the question mark at the bottom corner for a tutorial. The story flow and exploration will be explained in more detail. Oh. The great tree? Where? My house? My house. In the middle of the street. My house. But that's Main Street. My house. So I could probably only go um, do any of them with like the gold thing. So I guess that makes sense. So we're going to go out there. When I exit my house, I felt a we wave of heat overtake me. This background looks really familiar. Uh, sun pierces through the canopy of Valinorth with a fierce intensity. Some of the residents use makeshift fans looking utterly exhausted. Fortime, however, stands there unaffected with a huge smile on his face. Wow. I didn't expect you to look that fancy. Nice dress. You're really pulling it off. You should do my wardrobe next time we go out. You know it. I'll get you the best dress. You're gonna be so fancy looking that it it you're gonna be oh, so cute. I love it. Okay. Oh, you think I'm nice? Are you okay? That's adorable. You look a little <laughs> almost as cute as a wolf in a fuzzy onesie. But don't yeah. get too attached, sweetheart. I'm just here to add a little spice to your day. Oh Ooh. wow. Hey, are you okay? You look a little shaken up. Are you nervous about the ceremony? A little bit. I had a concerning vision last night. Oh, I see. Perhaps we should find Valesa first. It must have been bad if you're acting like this. I... What do you mean? I just woke up. Uh, maybe I, I need my coffee first, okay, Fortime? Did you think about that? Did Nobody brought me coffee! Maybe that's why I'm cranky. Did you think about that? But hold on. Just remember the basics. Um, coffee first... Visions later. That's the basics. Visions are never foolproof. They're always full of errors. It's like looking at a painting. It's up to interpretation. Everyone who looks at it would walk away with something different. How do you know that? You don't have them. <laughs> you, you crazy bunny man. Not that I have visions. I'm just trying to help. Valesa will make sense of everything you saw. I know it. Sometimes visions make mountains out of mud piles. I... We can't talk about this, but... Whoa, really? Scare me half to death, why don't you? Yes. Let's put everything on hold then, then get Valesa. All right, let's do that. We're supposed to meet her in the town square. But if this is as bad as you say, you better tell me too. Not as a scribe in training, but as a friend. Got it? Well, I can't... I can't tell you that that seems bad, but... I'm gonna flirt with you, but... I'm sorry, I'm... Mm. It's probably not a good idea for me to do that. You know what I mean? Probably not, but I'm upset because look, he looks so upset. I don't want him to be upset. I, mm. Hey, you really need to stop saying weird stuff. 
You're gonna make me blush in front of everyone else. That's the plan. <laughs> you caught me. You caught me. <laughs> anyway, we should uh. make it to the town square. With this vision business, we'll have a busy day. Don't waste too much time, all right? I won't. <laughs> I should probably tell them about the impending doom of the entire village pretty soon, right? Because who knows when it's going to happen? Who knows? All right. Fortime is now permanently joined in my party. Perfect. I love it. A comrade joining your party is also retroactively, retroactively unlocks content. What? Retro, for example, you can now bring uh, Fortime to your home and talk to him there. What's going on, Gecko? Happy day two of the new year, exactly. We're doing games with that. Hey, by the way, the village is going to burn down. Yeah, I'm like, hey, uh, the whole, do you like that house right there? It's pretty nice, right? You better say goodbye to it. All right. How are you doing, Gecko? Hopefully you're having a good new year. It's good to, it's a good idea to uh, form a habit of revisiting previous areas. Are you telling me to take Fortime to my home? Is that what you're trying to tell me right now? Because that seems a little suspicious. What am I looking at over here? This is my home. There's not much just to say. I know it's a mess inside, but I'll have to fix that later. Maybe. A bit bigger than my house, but mine has more rooms. Which is better though? More rooms or more space? My interior design books don't really cover that aspect. You read a lot, apparently. More space is more luxurious, more rooms, you get more privacy. Both are great, just how you use them. The master has spoken. I guess it's true, though. Work with what you have. My favorite and fantasy it, trope, right? Someone else surely will. What? I, I wasn't paying attention. What did you say? Oh. Uh, work with what you have, and if you don't have it, someone else will. Good point. I must steal your home. Uh, you must be blessed with peaceful neighbors. I've never heard a single peep come from those people next door. They're probably dead. Maybe. Fortime is loud, but thankfully he lives across the street. With him next door, I'd probably die of sleep deprivation. Aw, are you thinking about me? I saw the way you looked at me just now. Give it to me straight. What's going on? I'm gonna keep the flirtations going. We're I gonna guess go. you could say that, yeah. Being a scribe in training is pretty hard work. It's fun to unwind after everything is said and done. What are you doing over there? He laughs and turns away from me. There's a hint of a blush on his face, but he covers it up. He's quite reckless in his youth, but that isn't almost everyone. Sure. I assume that's true. That's Fortime's house. It's in tip-top condition. It looks brand, uh, brand new. Uh, and he must take very good care of it. As I get closer, I look at the book left out on this porch. It has his name on the front, so I can only assume it's his own work. I'm gonna read this. That's not his spirit, voice! <laughs> more like Why do they keep doing that? When the vision is over, a seer or seeress can often vividly recall the bigger picture, while smaller elements are lost in translation. For example, if the vision was about the death of a villager, that part would be clear. However, how they died and what reaction each individual villager had to their death would be unclear. Instead of knowing this information, it is more like a gut feeling or a single interpretation of the events. In some cases, it is as if the spirits send us a single picture of an event, and the seer or seeress goes on to act it out in a dream in whatever way they can make sense of it. Well, that really kind of throws into question what, seers, it is like uh, what just happened then. Because, like, but as there is only one now everything we know time, isn't really reliable. Be able to put this to the test. So it may not be Instead, helpful at all, really, is what I'm saying. In depth with the seer or seeress. Already? Come to an agreeable interpretation. You Often well. Times the smaller elements are disregarded, and only the bigger picture is given any credence. Using the death as an example, we would only assume a death is coming to Valinorth. Digging into why it was going to happen would be impossible. Well, then that was the spirit that makes my entire vision communicate slowly in pointless over time. We have to wonder if soon these visions will be concrete, and interpretations would become a thing of the past. For them. Okay, uh, maybe. That is not for. Oh, his name is Fortam. I've been calling Fortame. It's Fortam. But that's not his voice, Isn't so. Isn't cool to think about, Seer? The spirits are artists, and your mind is the canvas. There's so much work required in interpreting visions. Right. That 
Maybe. Of course, the spirits grow stronger every day. It's already gotten to a point where a scribe is near useless. I have more volumes written on the subject. I'm sure you'll find them. I will look for them every day. Can you believe how much stronger they've gotten, though? No. I wrote this book years ago, and it's almost outdated. We've okay. Been able to witness so much growth in one generation. You're right. I knew all that because I also have been paying attention uh, to all of that. Yep, that's true. Anything else? What's over there? That's Valinar's po or post office at the end of the road. Uh, village wide notices are posted there, and we all have boxes. Sometimes it's easier to catch someone uh, by mail when they're busy. Even even if they live like ten min like one minute away, I haven't checked my box in a while, but I rarely get any messages. I only interact with Valessa and Fortame. We can't carry out our duties unless we're together in person. If I got mail from somebody else, uh, it would likely be junk. You're right. It probably would be. If Milas needed me, he comes uh, to see me in, in person, too. There's a village-wide notice posted about your induction. I think you'll have quite the audience later tonight, Seer. There's a big party planned afterwards, too. Dancing and all. Yay! I love it! Oh, it's gonna be so great! Did somebody bake a cake? Because that would be great! I do like chocolate! Do you like chocolate? Do you want some chocolate for team? I bet you do! That's a face that likes chocolate! I bet you're big on that! Uh, dancing really isn't my thing. That sounds pretty awesome. I hope we're attending. Uh, would you go? Oh, I gotta keep this up because I'm just gonna keep. I, I've gotta keep. I gotta keep. I, it's it, it's these games and the bunnies. I've really gotta go after them. It's just the way it is. Uh, isn't that the best way to get heroes to go on a journey? Exactly. Whoa, you really have to think that one through. This is the most important day of your life. Are you sure you want to do that with me? You're right. Let me think about it. Nah, man. I bet you dance amazingly. I bet you. Yeah, if I'd love you're to. you're certain, then I'd love to. Maybe I'll even give you a refresher course. I'm assuming you don't get to do much dancing. Why do you think that? Maybe I'm dancing all the time. You don't know that. Maybe when I'm in my, like, room, maybe the reason my room is so messy is I'm in there dancing like nobody's watching. <laughs> maybe. All right. That's a big assumption on his part. What's up here? The higher up you live, the more you have to pay. Well, that sucks. Houses up there with great views are way too expensive. I'm like, no, Fortum is a classic storytelling technique uh, used in some of the best stories. Exactly. Also, I just noticed that like, I am this really important figure in town and they're like, but you still live in like the cheapest part of town. So don't expect much else. Of course, the elder happily lives above everybody else. There? Or they, I don't know. Thankfully, that's not reflecting the way he treats us. Uh, I noticed the streams of water are in full flow today. We siphon off water from the high or falls higher up on the mountains. That's how we fill the water tank each and every day. Every morning, every citizen does a water run, so to speak. These runs are a requirement for everyone in Valinorth. Without them, the tank would overflow and flood our village. I should do mine before it gets too late, actually. One person might not matter, but that's a bad mentality. Yep. Um, all right. Wait. Okay, so here's where you do, because they told me to do this. They told me to do it. They said, go back here, and then he's available. Hey. Hi. Gotta keep up the humble appearance by staying in the cheapest locations. I agree. So what do you think of my room? How do you like being a uh, scribe and train? Okay, what do you think of my room? It's a huge mess. Well... <laughs> you should see mine. It's flawless. I bet. I'm actually tempted to start cleaning. Oh, well, if you want to. I got a little outfit you can wear. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But uh, I know I shouldn't do that without permission. Last time I did that, I got into a whole mess of trouble. <laughs> so do you yes. come here often, oh, cutie? Well, right. Thinks they're smooth. Oh, Call me a cutie, and oh. oh, sorry to burst your bubble, but you'll need well. more than a lousy pickup line to impress wow. me. Wow, Theo, if my you'll goodness. Excuse me, I'll go find someone with actual charm. Whoa, Brar. Wow, Theo, really? Wow, Theo, throwing down the rejection <laughs> joke. <laughs> God damn, that was harsh. Uh, what happened? Something about 
Uh, okay. I want to know about the time you tried to clean someone's house and they got angry with you. Uh, you really are a neat freak, huh? Be my guest. Clean whatever you want. I should hire you. Yes, that's the one. Is that a serious offer? Yes. Because, you know, I'm very interested. Even if Myla says that's against the rules. Why would that be against the rules? Also, <laughs> that is not the response I was expecting. But I'll wait until you make a formal offer. Sometimes I act on impulse and make a fool of myself. Okay. It was big trouble last time I cleaned without permission. Why? Um, okay. Uh, you... What happened? I do kind of want to know this. I saw a house so dirty I couldn't resist. It turned out to be Milas' spare study home. Oh. Everything was messed up, but... Damn, Theo, I wasn't going for you, but why are you gonna be so rude? I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, don't you know I'm human, too? I'm gonna marry Fortame anyway. Fair enough. But Fortame... Problem is, Jojo, Fortame's gonna be my maid uh, in my house, so you better be worried about, you know what I'm saying? It could, you know... Everything's messed up, but with purpose. He said it took him months to recover. I messed with his stuff and threw his studies off. I'll never forgive myself for doing that. Oh, no. I keep... I, I, I took... Or uh, uh, keep a spare study room. He, You too keep a spare study room? Me too. It's called... My... I don't have one. I'm lying. I don't study. What am I talking about? He said it was unbecoming of me. I had to look up the word, but I guess it's true. <laughs> As a training, he's a writer, and he's like, I wasn't sure what unbecoming meant. Uh, hey, being a maid just means he's keeping a steady job, and he does house chores. Yeah, that's all it means. There's, well, see, Gecko, there is a strict, there is a very strict dress code <laughs> in my line of work, okay? When you work for me, there's a very strict, okay. I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead. Hey, be my guest. Oh, thank goodness. I was so scared you'd get mad at me. <laughs> Give me a few minutes. Who would want that in a parter? It's called a bathroom. Yeah, right? That's my study room. Oh, man. Uh, give me a few minutes. I won't take long. Why is there a sack of grain on the floor? Well, you know... The cooking area is an absolute mess. I, well, this I... This is going to take longer there's than... There's not enough. enough counter space. That's that's the problem with my house. There's definitely not enough counter space. Where else was going to put it? You know? Like, I can't put it on the plant. The plant wouldn't like that. Don't judge me. I'm... Pretty sure that's an understatement. Don't judge me, and it gives me more time with my other BFs. One of them leads the rebellion, don't you know? Sacrifices, the bread and butter of any good fantasy story. But let's be honest, the only sacrifice you'll ever make is deciding between pizza or tacos for dinner. <laughs> Stay in your lane, my friend. Brar. <laughs> Don't be offended if you see me messing around. What? Wait. Everything has an order. A perfect place it should be. I just like putting things where they belong. Oh, stupid send button. Go for tacos, Theo. He does like tacos. I like tacos. Pizza's good, too. All right. That was a good conversation. Oh, we're not done. Uh, how do you like being a it's scribe in training? Actually. All Everything right. Everything is given to me by Valinorth. Money, food, a house, you name it. Me too. Go for her. Me too. I work with Valesa more than you, though. I'm kind of disappointed about that. We tend to roleplay real scenarios. I'm sorry, wait, what? <laughs> you like to roleplay, huh? That's good to know. She'll good to know. She'll take on your role, and I'll take on hers. Oh. Playing a scribe for a scribe. Best possible training. Unfortunately, I doubt I'll ever be a real one. Don't worry about it. We'll do plenty of role playing on the side. What? Oh, do I get any input on my who who my scribe is? I don't think there's any protocol for that. Fair enough. But I assume Milas has the final word there, or whoever the elder is at any given time. Look, the floor adds flavor. The grain is good seasoning, and Theo's I never chose because I'm in the mood for one at one one or the other. You could do pizza tacos. That would be good. Sometimes you just have to go with the flow. But I hope you're not trying to say Valesa is bad. No, is no, no, no. Is something I'm not seeing here? No, 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 no. Well, maybe. I don't know. 
Actually, I much prefer to work with you, Fortame. She's fine, more than fine, actually. Oh, no, no, I was just curious. Oh, I guess I jumped to conclusions again. I really need to stop doing oh, stuff like pizza that. tacos? Pizza tacos sound kind of like Might be a hit or miss, like your attempts at flirting. Oh, but who am I to judge? Yo, Jesus. Try and see if your taste Jesus. agree with your kill him. life choices. Kill, 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 man. She's going in for the kill. Oh man, okay, I was just curious we though. We have to obey the rules set in stone by Valinorth. <laughs> I'm just happy that we all get along with each other. This trio could have been a lot worse if you ask me. A lot worse. Could have been Theo. What do you do in your spare time? You know? Well, I really love climbing trees. That's Aside very that, specific. I love reading and all right. cleaning. I noticed it's that. It's a simple life here. But I have no problem with it. Okay. I have a lot of time off. Way more than Valesa. Theo is ruthless today. I know he's he's on it, man. <laughs> he's really really being aggressive right now. Maybe he sees another bunny on screen. And he's getting really defensive. Is what's happening. There's just another there's another rabbit with kind of shaggy hair, and he's kind of like, well, hold on a second. This is my show. <laughs> if you see me with cuts and bruises, don't freak out. I'm pushing myself to the limits, climbing bigger trees. Are you saying? Before you know it, I'll be on top of the grand tree. Oh, okay. He knows he can't compete with Fortune. Fortame, yeah, sounds fun. Maybe I'll join you. Doesn't? Don't hurt yourself. I'ma join you. Wait, seriously? That sounds awesome. You were I'll have right. To do something easy then. Why? Are you calling me weak too? Why is everybody calling me weak? Why does it have to be easy? I don't want to throw you right into it. Oh, well, you can if you want. And I won't screw that up. Uh-huh. It might be fun having an apprentice to teach. Okay. How long have you been in training? About five years less than Valesa. You know, Fortame, uh, I know a guy who liked climbing scared. trees once. So <laughs> oh, you're right. Type of thing. From, from... Oh wait, hold on. That happened in uh that happened in Kamarebi, right? The guy was it uh 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 the the uh, uh, Lagoshi had a friend who died <laughs> from climbing a tree. That's really coincidental. Very, very coincidental. Some people say that Myla's father trained him too. That's why he was able to take over so easily. That means he's like me, but for the position of elder. Very different. It's very different. Uh, what happened in Mazio? I hope nothing happens to Valesa. Same. That would be awful. We're definitely like a small family here. I couldn't live without either of you. Oh, that's so sweet. You're so sweet. I feel weird, existing as a failsafe. But I'm free to do much more in my spare time. I love this position, and I'm glad to know both of you. Oh, you're so sweet. Uh, do you want to get a second job? Think I'm really allowed to do that? The training I go through is already mentally exhausting. Well, how are I you need gonna to devote my spare time to blowing off steam? How are you going to be my maid if you can't do a second job? That doesn't make any sense. Of course, this is under Mylas orders. I'm sure I could handle something if I really wanted. I love this position. Fortame says, him "Really isn't." Hmm. Oh, you know, he's gonna say that later too. Because of tree climbing? Oh, well, that doesn't make it any better. Uh, <laughs> what would you do if you could? Um, to be honest, I just like helping people. Mm -hmm. So probably cleaning up here and there, keeping tidy. I consider a day successful if I've made someone else smile. All right. Maybe I could be a problem solver or something. People always need some help, so I'd never go bored. It would always involve something new and exciting. Right. That makes course, sense. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Milas says I'm not allowed to do any extra work. Training has to be my most important focus. Okay. That's gonna make being my maid really awkward. Is what that- That sounds awesome. It really does. What? But I'd never hear the end of it from Milas. If I overload my brain with work, I'll slip up. Uh, I'm sure you'll be fine. He says I always need to be at the ready. Unfortunately, that leads to a lot of waiting around. Who would have thought too much spare time is an issue? Well, I mean, I feel like that is definitely a thing That's for sure. I do things I can always cut short. Climbing a tree? Just hop down and try again later. How Maybe high are you going? Because that the mess isn't going anywhere. All right. 
You clearly are not OCD, because if you were... <laughs> all right. I could think of much worse things to do. Considering that, it's not too bad on my end. My life is simple, and there's some beauty in that. Fair enough. The Anvilessa always seems so busy. I'd rather yeah. stay in my situation than be overworked. I'm sure you cope with it, but I doubt I could. Well, you did just wake me up not that long ago, so um, I must be coping with it just fine. I hope I never have to step up either. Uh -huh. That would mean something terrible happened to Valesa. I don't even want to think about that. Let's move on. All right. I uh, hope you ever thought about quitting scribe and training. No, no. I could never do that to you. You need me, and all of Valinorth needs me. I'm not as important, but I'm still important. Uh huh. We're almost as important as the Elder, actually. He even no, I mean, you would get a raise, yeah, job. right? It just has some downsides. I wouldn't mind leaving Valinorth one day, but that's probably just because I'm not allowed to. You know what they say about wanting what you can't have. Is that foreshadowing? Might be foreshadowing. Hey, well, you know, they were good. Oh, wait, no, we're not. Do you like living in Valinorth? Yeah, it's great here. Sometimes right. I wish I could leave, but it's dangerous out there. Oh, don't worry about it. City, and we all know what happened there. Yes. No, well, I thought it was peaceful. The guy said it was peaceful, and it actually ended up being good, so, you know, it's fine. Balteus would be way too cold for me, and Dalarinthia would be way too warm. I think we have it perfect right here. The people outside were literally, like, fanning themselves off. I don't know, you are important to me and the cleanliness of my house. Yeah, exactly. Get back to work. Uh, what can you tell me about Balteus? Oh, here we're well, getting all the lessons right really now. Really far up north. Really the far. There. Oh. Uh, their castle is amazing. Mm, look kind of gloomy to me, but. But I don't think too many people live there. From what I've read, it's full of their most loyal subjects. So their honor guard and prospective generals. Perfect. It's a, just a small group. They get to party in intimate settings. That's fine. I've heard they have a grand library, though. In Valinorth, my reading material is really limited. I yeah, it seems a bit like cold. It might be a be wee, wee bit nippy at night. You know, it's like that stone cold castle in cold weather. It probably... They, could you imagine how much wood they need for the fires? Probably a lot. Uh, yeah, bar, bar, the lands, into the far east. I know oh. very little about Alarinthia, except that it's hot. You mm -hmm. have to be really strong to live in a place like that. Well, I assure you, I assure you, no matter what everybody else in this game has been saying up to this point, I'm very strong. I got them big old bulging muscles that you can definitely tell. Oh my God, they need like an entire forest to keep warm. Exactly. It would be horrible. And that's who lives there mostly. No, I'm super muscular, so and he can can can't joke. prove otherwise. It's, original. it's adorable it how they think their insults can tickle my thick fur. <laughs> my strength is unmatched, unlike their creativity. But hey, let them have their fun while I continue being fabulous. Rar. Rar. Exactly, Theo. We both are very strong and muscular and handsome <laughs> and smart. All right, here we go. But there's barely any books on it here. I'm really only educated on Valinorth and Mazeo. Maybe someone else could teach you about Alarinthia. Uh, yeah, someone, I'm sure. Uh, well, Mazeo? It's the trade hub of Alestia, full of docks and ships. I really hate talking Listen, about this. Listen, only so the cool kids join the conspiracy on Discord. Years so, I can see why you are not there. Just it's been saying. that long, huh? All right. They well. put a trade ban in effect as soon as they did. It doesn't affect me like someone much, from there, maybe potentially they could. With them when I was younger, my parents used to treat me with them. Oh, okay, with an apple, Theo. I am there. <laughs> Hopefully one day they remove the stupid ban. They say it keeps order on things, but I'm not sure. More laws just means more rules to break, right? Well, yeah, kind of, but that. No, I, that's kind of a weird way to look at it, but okay. Anyway, yeah, Mazeo is a really interesting place. Everyone said the force they used to occupy it was justified. You don't Eliminating say. Eliminating piracy and bringing the law to Mazeo was necessary. Yeah, sometimes you gotta lay the smack down. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta do it. Maybe one day we'll get to leave Valinorth. That would be cool, but I highly doubt it. Well, we maybe. I mean, in Valinorth at all times. we could go on an adventure. Well, what if I told you that 
hypothetically, the whole village burned down. <laughs> and everyone disappeared. And there was a bull who had a sword that made people disappear and then also burned the house, all the houses down. Then hypothetically speaking, cause that definitely is not like a thing I saw in my dream. I didn't see that at all, but you know what I mean? Uh, you just, that's what I'm saying. So that's the thing. And also what if then, then, then would you leave? <laughs> not that that would happen. But if it did, wouldn't that be good? Yeah, but hypothetical, yeah, but like hypothetical, it could happen. No, 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 I'm not saying that. Also, I can't afford these streaming servers. I'm a broke college kid. What did we need to say anything about that? Oh, the streaming services. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, nothing like that would ever happen. This way for thousands of years. I don't think we'll get any special treatment. I mean, we can dream, but it won't really go anywhere. Maybe. I'm pretty hopeful, actively quite the pessimist. Oh yeah? What makes you think that? Actually, don't tell me. I don't want to get my hopes up. It took me long enough to come to terms with it the first time. Well, let me tell you, it's definitely not because everybody you know and love will die. It's not because of that. No, he said they outlawed piracy. Oh. <laughs> All right, bye. It's good, good talking to you. Let's move on and don't make fun of my kitchen space. No, okay. I don't really appreciate you making fun of my kitchen space. You know what I mean? Uh, let's go to Town Square. That looks familiar. Town Square is a serene and beautiful place, like usual. A far cry from how I saw it in last night's vision. I, I take a deep breath and relax. We're all safe. Hey, nice to see you again. Oh, look, there's their beautiful, pretty eyes. Thankfully, do you like my dress? Spare. Do you think, do you like it? What do you think? Do you think, do you think that I pull it off better than you ever could? Because I bet that's true. Bet it's very true. <laughs> uh, she runs up to me and gives me a tight hug. I glance over at Forte and he appears embarrassed all. Oh my. Is this a hint of romance I see? And in public too? Well, People wait a minute. To talk. Come here, buddy boy. I'll show them. I'll show them. It can be a little trio of happiness if you really want to go that route. Shut it, Fortum. <laughs> Nobody asked you. I was just excited to see the seer. Remember how special today is? Shut it, bunny. Get over here and I'll hug you too. Oh, wait. Um... At least ask before hugging me. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I am gonna. <laughs> I'm probably gonna go my coma Revy route and just flirt with everyone. I don't know if there's gonna be consequences to that, but I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm going for it. She's just enthusiastic for it, name. Whoa, I was just joking around. If you're serious, then I'm kind of jealous. Don't be. Oh. But I guess there's more important. No, 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 wait. Do they? Sorry oh, wait. Does that? Is that, is that bad? Hold on. Do your thing. No, no, no. Over there by the tank. No, 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 no. Wait. Hold on. I didn't mean to like. Hold on. Oh. Did I mess up? Can you not? Can you? Is that a problem? Is this? Is this game a little bit more oriented towards one? <sighs> The change in winds of change is is all the times you change who you flirt with. I change. I flirt. That's my policy is flirt, flirt, flirt. OK, uh, we had to meet up with Myla so they could hear about my vision. You can date everyone in your party. OK, cool. I I hope so. Uh, I swear, Fortum can be so insufferable. Oh, OK, so I could do. Be glad you don't work with him as much as I do. He keeps things interesting, to say the least. He seems so nice. They don't be, I'm gonna say it. Actually, I kind of have a thing for him. You mean you and Fortim? Trust me, that's the last thing I expected to hear. Oh, it's just one of the many things that don't add up today. Everything adds up. Don't think you're cut out of this agreement. You could also be my maid. <laughs> Fortim would never willingly walk away from us. He'd only do that if he's not allowed to listen in. So, correct me if I'm wrong. Why is it, uh, why is it you think I'm weak? Everybody thinks I'm weak. All of them do. Oh, really? 
wind wi- wind of maids yeah it's wind of maids everybody that. everybody's gonna be my maid by the end of this we're all it's gonna be me and my dress and everybody in maid outfits and that's that's how this game ends uh i knew something was different you seem like you don't want to bring it up but i now i know why should we go to the grand tree then might be good to discuss this in private. Maids of change. Oh, God. They won't bother us. No, we need to get by a listen fast. Whoa, you're starting to creep me out, Seer. That's what they say. Elder? I'm good at that. (laughs) Serious. Yes, I'm very serious. I trust your judgment. I really do. Let's grab Fortum and head to Miles' place. I'll grab him. You don't want to know where, but I'll (laughs) grab him. Okay. Just promise me one thing. Do your best to keep calm. Some of the villagers are already looking your way. If they see you freaking out, they'll freak out too. You really shouldn't. No, what I should do is like, she says this right now. She's like, "Be do your best to be calm. And I'm like, I will. And then I just go run off into the middle of the street. And I'm like, ah, they're coming. Everybody run. Was that good? Did I do good? <laughs> oh, okay. Valesa has joined your party permanently. Like before, new content. Oh, I got to go back and do all these things. There's a brand new feature called Parallel Chronicles has been unlocked. What does that mean? Brief tutorial on how that will follow after this dialogue window. You're all going to die. The end is near. Everybody. Oh, and the world of Alestia is a living, breathing place, though the story takes place from your perspective. A large uh, cast of characters is always up to something. Uh, in the top left is applicable applicable maps. You can view subplots by clicking uh, characters' icons. You can do these in inner order, but it is recommended you do them in order you see them. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, it's these two dudes. Let's see what's going on here. View. Oh, th- dude, this is so much like... This is a lot like Karma Rebbe, like everything about this. Okay, let's do Damic 1. Got it. Oh. Damic and Ulrich gather in town square come morning. The road to Valinorth would be long and fought with danger. But this time, Damic was certain he'd sent the right man. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? It's not too late to ask for some escorts. Then go to her and be like, yeah, I think you did pretty good. They seem calm and everyone's running around. They're like, everyone's like, oh, the seer said we're going to die. And I'm like, I think I nailed it. Nailed it. Yes, Dominic, stop asking. I'll be fine. And I'm well aware of the dangers. Bringing more people would just put them in harm's way. Well, you know, you could, I, I could be your shield if you want. Well, forgive me for caring. Do you want to be my maid? Sure <laughs> if you could be my imminent, big maid. The maid that does all the big work around the house. That could be your job. If the attack is in a minute, uh, you'll have to rush. I expect it'll take me under a day. I'll arrive in the dead of night or maybe early morning. Seeking out the seer will be the first thing I do. I got a job for you, buddy. Fantastic. Then things will go perfectly. Make sure uh-huh. to give the rest of the town a heads up. You can all evacuate together. You'll blend right in. Yes, that's what happens. But remember, you need to stop by Mylas and grab the blade. Otherwise, the Triumvirate will seize it when they attack. If I'm honest, I don't think we stand a chance without it. I can't believe they're attacking Valinorth. The occupation of Mazeo is still so fresh. Thankfully, they haven't found us yet. Hey, Ulrich, when this rebellion is over, you want to be my maid. That would be a hell of a an introduction. I'm like, what do you think about being my maid? Right under their noses, just as we should be. I'm going to meet with the mayor after this, actually. I'll see about fully claiming those underground tunnels. Do you... that a euphemism? Whatever they were digging for, <laughs> they've stopped. And I think it would make a fine base of operations. Getting the deed shouldn't be too difficult. All right. Where do you mean we'll have a new home? No more sleeping on the hard tavern floor? You think an underground tunnel is... Okay. Never again. It's time we get established. I have some large shoes to fill as the general. The first step is finding us a fitting home. Great work. Good. I'm glad to hear it. But one last thing before I go. Is it true what I've heard about Milas? Uh, what about him? Absolutely. So please be kind to him. He'll be a valuable ally in the coming days. 
Best of luck on your vacation, Ulrich. What about him? Oh, also, vacation. Trust me, I wish that's what it was. And I'll try retrieving the seer and the blade as soon as possible. Good luck with the mayor. I think you'll need it. All right. Well, but I don't know about that. To a home with an actual battle plan. It's starting to feel like our cause has some real weight to it. I feel bad for doubting you, Dominic. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job, buddy. I'm so proud of you. I'm gonna get a little scratchy on the big ears back there. You good dog. You're a good boy. You're good. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? All right, what was that about? Okay, so I have this, but like I also do need to go and like now I can have. See, now they told me I can do the thing. I can go back to Main Street and I can talk to you, right? You. Hey. And then, do you like living in? What do you think of this place? Is it cool? Uh, oh, you want to? Uh, you want to establish? You get uh, today's sponsor where you can become Lord or Lady, giving money to this totally not a scam. Exactly. That's what I'm gonna do. It's just. Just give give this guy all your money. Yeah, of course I do. It's so peaceful and everyone is so nice. I don't think Valenorth has any real downsides. We're not plagued with piracy like Mazeo. Our hierarchy works. After three hours, I'm still waiting for my bratwurst to come to come to room speak. temperature. Uh, that's an interesting statement. <laughs> Why? How? <laughs> After three hours? Why? <laughs> what have you been doing to that thing? Um, if I ever got a chance to leave, I doubt I would. That's partly why I've never left the village. I know that Peregrino is out there in Salberg, but They were frozen. Oh, I thought you like cooked it and it was like still it. hot. I thought it was the other way around. That makes more sense. I've never actually been. Oh, uh, well, what? She just told me you've never actually been. Uh, then, then I got like Solberg. It's a watering hole, like a bar. Oh. It's popular for people on their way to Valinorth. Ooh. That's why it's called the Pilgrim's Tavern. All right, we should go. Let's do it. No, I cooked in lava. I was going to say, it sounds like that was what it was about. That's a good business idea, in my opinion. The road to and from Valinorth is long and arduous. I bet everybody wants to stop and grab a drink. And then they never leave. At least, that's what I've heard. We don't get too many outsiders, but it's still in business. It makes me wonder if there's something more to that place. Probably. I bet we're... Well, no, that... We're gonna find out. Maybe. What's about Solberg? Each nation has a spirit idol. Uh-huh. It's where the spirit realm reaches out into the physical world. Salberg is home to ours, but it's been closed off for a while. I see, I see. How suspicious. It happened around the time we were born, actually. So I've never actually seen one in person. Just in drawings that Fortim and I can find. All right. You know how nature is supposed to hold spiritual energy? Yes, well, many Disney movies to have told me that. Right. I'm very aware of that from, or maybe not just life. Disney movies. Have you ever seen Fern Gully? They talk about that there too. There's a bat who's, uh, he was voiced by Robin Williams. He talks about it all the time, and that's how I know about it. Uh, Fern Gully. But also Avatar, which is basically Fern Gully with blue so, people. Like I said, each so basically the same story. we are like national treasures uh -huh. to be heavily guarded. Right. Uh, we might have to leave someday, you know. Like, hypothetically, if the whole village got burned down and everyone died and something like that happened, and then, you know, we would have to delay you becoming my maid, but because there's nothing to clean because the houses are done. Oh my god, Fergully was so good. The Batsy rap hits different now. It sure does. Teaches you a lesson. I'm not holding my breath, to be honest. Uh-huh. We're rather self-sustaining here in Valinor. But hypothetically... Spears and scribes will be good. <laughs> Everything pertaining to our livelihood can be foreseen. So far, we haven't had to forge any alliances or treaties. And remember, it's been this way for thousands of years. True. Not that I'm against alliances or anything like that. But we have no purpose to leave. So I probably won't. I need to stay where my role is deemed most important. Okay. 
Uh, oh, there's still more. What's it like working with cute bunny guy? For some reason, the most memorable thing I recall from from Gali was that giant lizard that sings and then you never see him again. <laughs> I don't remember him all that well, but that probably I could see that happening. That's an experience to say the least. His attention span isn't the best, you know. He'll zone out in the middle of our studies. Yeah, but he's cute, right? You know what I mean? And he always finds a way to make things humorous. It can be somewhat frustrating when I'm trying to teach him. But maybe that's just me. And I need to loosen up a little. Yeah, you need to calm down a little, yeah. You take things a bit too seriously. As long as we all get along in the end, it doesn't matter. He needs to... Ah, well, this is, uh... Well, I accept the whole village burning down might be a reason to leave. It could be. I guess so. We could hate each other's guts. That would make protecting Valinorth quite hard. Considering that, I think things are pretty good. Yeah, I agree. I guess I'll just work on my tolerance for his antics. I kind of thought you'd agree. And now I feel weird. But if this is just a Valesa problem, I'll fix it. No, 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 no. He's definitely weird, but he's kind of cute, don't you think? As always, you have a way of putting things in perspective. No, so no, 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 no. I don't like know. I was bashing his personality. It was. I wasn't trying. I was all. going the neutral route, okay? Hey, uh, are you prepared for the ceremony? Yeah, I've been preparing for weeks. I was trying to go the neutral route. It's not well, too <laughs> complicated, at least for me. All right. It might be a little harder for you, but basically, just recite after my list. After that, it's one big celebration. And then they tell me to bend over, and they they shove that uh, brand right up on my ass, and then I got that thing on my ass for the rest of my life, so. My role is minimal. This is your special day. As long as you can handle the spotlight, you're good. You won't have to memorize anything or make a huge speech. What if I want to? Did you think about that? What if I want to? Yeah, right, right in front of everybody. They're just like, bend over! You know, ah! Why are we doing this now? Why are we only doing this now? Apparently, Apparently Milos's father was caught up in other things. It must have been important to shun something like this. I wonder if it's related to his disappearance. Gee, you think? Anyway, that's why it hasn't happened until now. It's supposed to happen when you're much younger. But I don't see any reason why it can't happen now. Maybe I am really bad at this whole vision thing. Uh, what's the first part of the ceremony? I don't you know. Blizzard's old Valinor. And it's protection. Ah. Until the end of your days, you'll serve our village. In return, you pretty much get to live a life of luxury. In the cheapest part of town. The benefits right. are amazing. No wow, that coming. sounds amazing. I hear you'll get a ha- Yeah. Oh. And I'm actually kind of jealous. But we'll be spending a lot of time together. So I guess I get access to that stuff by association. Yeah, you get to be my maid. <laughs> you get to you to clean all of it. When does it start? As soon as the sun starts to set. So likely we still have a few hours. Plenty of time to meet with Milas. Perfect. How long does it last? This only happens once a generation, so I'm not sure. But I've heard that it goes until the sun starts to rise. Oh. That's a bit too much for me. We'll see how long I can last. Well, we'll see. From what I've seen, you're pretty stressed today. I think the ceremony and the party will help you unwind. After it's done, we can take care of whatever we well, need to. Well, no, wait, hold on. The prop, listen, the whole, you don't understand. The whole village is gonna burn. <laughs> You don't get it. Uh, I had a nickel for every time I played a game where I was supposed to get something when I was younger, but didn't because I'm special and would have two nickels. It is about that twice. <laughs> you're right. You're right. It's true. Uh, how long do I have anything else? Do you want to go to my house? Do you want to see my house? It's it's great. You're going to love it. Oh, I've also... That wasn't oh, there before. Visions, darling. Who needs those pesky things when I can just sit back, relax? Is there any reason you aren't show? telling what about the Plus, vision? Why bother I can't. Sharing them with anyone? Apparently, I can only tell her. Or call me a drama queen. Oh. <laughs> no, Theo, that's not the answer. The reason is, is because I can only tell her, or I can tell the leader of the village, because that's the tradition. You know, it's the whole like fiddle around the roof thing tradition and I, I can't even tell bunny boy 
because uh, he's only the apprentice scribe, and he's not cool enough to know. That's, uh, I guess that's a thing. There's a whole thing here with Pro One. A secret secret, yeah. Pro slammed his hands of cards down on the table. His opponent scoffed and shouted accusations of cheating. He smirked as he made his way to the bar, laughing at them. With his newfound riches, he'd celebrate over a drink. <laughs> Only when they lose do they accuse me of cheating. Wait. Where I come from? It's called a sore loser, Aaron. Is that pro or he kind of looks like, uh, what was the, the prisoner from earlier? They kind of look similar. It's only being high if you're not cheating. Pro, are you swindling people in my tavern again? That voice sounds so familiar. Who, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta know this. Let's see if I can figure this out. That voice sounds so familiar. I gotta look this up. I'm gonna look it up. Hold on. Let me go see if I figure it out. Prisoner is the prisoner is Shane, and I would date both of them too. I, yeah, that's what I was thinking, but they kind of look similar, you know what I mean? They kind of look similar. Uh, okay, so let's see if I can see the, the winds of change. I don't think that's it. The problem is finding it here. Ah, oh, there we go. I gotta see it, because that voice sounds so familiar. Aaron, I gotta look for Aaron. I don't know why that voice sounds so familiar, but it really does. Oh, Sovi. Wait, Sean Chiplock was, uh... Oh, interesting. A lot of these guys are in both. Uh, Koma Rebbe and this. Alright, where are you at? What's your name, Aaron? Iron? Aaron? I don't see... I haven't seen him yet. Where are you? How did I miss you? What is this? I don't know what that is. Okay, uh, Aaron. A Aaron. I don't see you. Are you like uncredited? What the hell? Oh, there he is. Jonathan Cook. Jonathan Cook. All right. Well, why do I know your voice? This is real. This is really, uh, I, I realize, uh, Tale of Kingdom, Corner, blah, 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 like with the Adam Random, Fantasmic, Hidden. I'm not recognizing any of these roles. Uh, he has the most unique spelling of Aaron I've ever seen. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I, it is true. Boy, I must be wrong because I don't see anything I recognize. So, I'm wrong. I don't recognize that voice at all. I was... 100% incorrect on that one. <laughs> okay. Now, now, that's such a terrible way of putting it. There's nothing wrong with using sleight of hand to win. I like to think that they're paying me for my awesome tricks. Maybe. That voice sounds familiar, too. I almost think that is the same voice actor as, um... Like, Pro here might be the same voice actor as, uh, what's-his-name, the bunny from Kama Rebbe, for some reason, uh, Taylor. Sounds like Taylor to me. I got there. It took me a minute. I'm gonna find out if that's the case. This one's name is Pro, right? Pro, Pro, Pro. Where are you, Pro? I feel like that would be easy to find in this list. But I didn't. Pro, where are you at, Pro? Pro, Sean Chiplock. It is. It is him. Okay, that's right. It is him. Uh, okay, cool. And taking it out on me and my tavern. Yeah, I can see why you think that's so much fun. You're not the one who has to clean up after the brawls. Well, it... maybe. Trust me, I'd kill for a brawl right now. No, that's not... Remember, that's not isn't Taylor. That was, um... Oh, God, what was the the, the... the the guy who ended up being, like, the the secret leader of the terrorist organization that was my best friend? That guy. I think that's who that is. Sure it is. Has my name on the deed and everything. All right. Oh, yeah? Say that to Domic's face. He's only keeping you open as an intermediary. We need a neutral place between Mazeo and Valinorth. Right. That makes sense. Trust me, Pro. I'd manage just fine on my own. Most people come here for the drinks and the fun. Domek's support is a bonus. Not really a necessity. Besides, how is your investigation going? 
that is since I don't think I would, um, I didn't think I would hear yet it is accurate. <laughs> yeah. My boyfriend, who also was a leader of a terrorist organization, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's something in, in a game. That's the only thing you could say in a furry game. Uh, <laughs> you think I'm playing, but I'm secretly listening. Your patrons have given me a great deal of information. Right. So you're stealing that from them too? Are you ever going to give anything back around here? Yeah, I'm this close to making my move. There's this really cool sword being held in Valinorth. I'm supposed to retrieve it along with the seer. Is everybody coming after me? What is going on here? Like, everybody's coming for me right now. Of course, that was almost a week ago. Domek is pretty impatient, so I better hurry. Yeah, you better. Take any longer, he I'm pretty, so uh, close. I'm pretty, uh, pretty, you know, I like to move around a lot. So if you haven't done it yet, you better hurry your little cute little butt up because uh, I'm, I'm already hitting on two people. <laughs> You're running out of room here, okay? This is not going to happen. That's the smartest thing you've said. Not today or this week, just in general. It's not like that blade will come to you. All right. Here, try this new ale that just came in. But after that, you really need to get to work. I'm afraid you're scaring away some of my business. Eh, I wouldn't, probably not. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on it. At least let me write my boss first. There's a bunch of stuff he has to know. Alrighty. You mean Domek? He's my boss too, you know. Everybody, he's everybody's boss. He's my boss and I've never even met him. I, you yeah, know, little did he know. Right. I'll grab a paper, and you break out that ale. It better be as good as you're making it sound. It's probably great. He's my boss. They're your boss. Everybody's boss is Damick or whatever. What am I doing? Oh, okay. So I did that. Uh, I gotta take, uh, to, to kind of complete the circle, I guess I gotta take uh, the what's-her-name to my house. Do I see my room? Do you like my room? Do you think my little sword thing here is pretty bitchin', huh? Bitchin', right? You're not... Wait. Oh, you're not... She's not an option here. <laughs> okay, never mind. She don't get to see my room. My room's too bitchin' for you. You don't get to see nothing. You don't get to see nothing. That's pretty bitchin', right? Yeah, exactly. All right, I got another one of these things, though. I could do this. Let's see what uh, Tovi's up to, or Savi. Entered the chambers with the triumphant unprompted. Uh, for Halen had uh, extracted information they desired. They raised their hoods and turned to him scoffing. A hint of aggression quickly concealed their faces. Sylvie, what is the meaning of this intrusion? I don't, I don't know. know. You, you tell, tell me. me. Halen has finished his interrogation, Masters. I thought it would be wise to relay the results. Unless you were plotting behind our backs. Oh no, oh no he, he figured, figured us out! out. Everybody, Everybody run! run. <laughs> that was pretty astute. We would never do such a thing. That, that you know of. information is granted to you as we see fit. If you are left in the dark, it is not permanent. Unless, Unless you, you like, like the, the dark. dark. Oh. Oops. Push the wrong button there. Plotting? Nah, why would we do that? We're only like people in dark robes that, you know, look really suspicious. I don't know why you would suspect yeah, anything like watching. that. I see you. If you have not hit follow, I don't know. Why not just do it? Come on. Yes. yes. Hmm, I wonder who the bad guy is. The Exodus Wheel Both of them at the same time. I am ready to launch our attack at a moment's notice. That's pretty quick. Uh, maybe you could take a day off. We have a party planned. That would be a huge party foul. Good. Then it is time you hear the rest. Valinorth is just a small part. Surely not the cloak figure. Absolutely not. See no more reason to withhold this information. Okay. That much was obvious, Masters. Why did you keep it from me for so long? Halen and I are more than loyal enough. Well, you are a little bit weird. You know, you got this whole dark thing going. It it really makes it hard to know if we can trust you. Sylvie, this is 
not a matter of loyalty. Yes, she will understand when you hear. It would not be wise to doubt our word. Do you like like pina pina coladas and hanging out in the the rain? rain. (laughs) Yes, yes. My apologies. Nobody likes being left in the dark. I will ensure my words sound less doubtful. All right. If there is a greater plan at play, I am honored. I find no greater pleasure than serving your cause. So please, tell me what you wish, and it will happen. Right. We've led you to believe that Valinorth is our goal. However, it is just the beginning of a much larger plan. Well, that makes sense. Because it's a pretty small village. The true nature of the spirit realm. Oh, that's nice. Can uh, can you write it down? Because it sounds like a lot, and I may need to take notes. Can I grab my notebook and the pen? That might be a smart thing. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna do that. I'm not. I'll get to learn that. What do I? Uh, who needs to know that stuff? House is near the tank reserved for the elderly. Okay. Something about minimizing travel to their water source. Of course, houses near here are way too humid to be comfortable. But for some reason, they don't complain. Happy to reside inside. Try not to waste too much time here, Seer. I'm dressed in layers, and this humidity is gross. So am I. Did you see it? I rocket it way better than you. Guarantee it. If we were wearing the same dress at the same time, everyone would be like, Nazan? Damn, bro. Damn. Dizam is what you would say. Um, what am I doing? I need a book. There's a book. <laughs> I need to find a book. Put your mouth... Go, uh... Um, put your mouth under the tap. Go thirsty for an indeterminate amount of time. Ooh, I'm a- that's disgusting. Those things could be so dirty, you know? At least wait until there's no one around. Which part of that is the reason? Um, okay, so... What's over here? There's a book sitting there. I don't see no. What are you talking about? Uh, there's a book sitting there, all wet and stained. Most likely water damage due to the proximity near the tank. Yeah, that was pretty uh, bad place to put a book. I still don't even see it, but that's fine. When I approach it, Fortabay laughs and apologizes to me. Sorry, I think I dropped that when I was waiting. Oh, it's something I picked up from Myla's house a few days ago. Uh, you're free to take it. I have no use for it anymore. Is it one of yours, and you're gonna, and it's gonna read to me in that voice that's definitely not yours, unless it is your voice and you can talk like that all the time in which case yes please mysterious Mizeo. you see what i'm saying when the triumph it's not him though somebody <laughs> 20 years nah they're definitely not evil and savi is really rude so to attack the party goes. yeah seriously if he if he attacks us during the party that's a party foul mm, wet book <laughs> the, the best kind of book many believe that doesn't get much better than that becoming tyrannical there is one very peculiar thing, however. Their general, or mayor, is almost never seen. Oh, the yeah? Same goes for the honor guard they've placed in Mazeo. Hundreds of soldiers, almost never walking in the light of day. Yes, Instead, that makes sense. I've had several reports tell me that they dig in the night, deep underground, as if they're searching for something of importance. Could this be what they wanted Mazeo for? I've branched out of Valinorth and started corresponding with some people of note in Mazeo. It seems that even if it had a positive impact... But only one or two of them. Forceful occupation. No one so, else. Ever. I suspect that the people in opposition will soon form their own army. It seems like they want to take Mazeo away from the Triumvirate and place it back in the hands of the people. A noble cause, I say. Valinorth must never meet Mazeo's fate. The Elder of Valinorth. Well, I got some bad news. There's an old thing coming. Uh, so that looks like it's everything. Unless there's more. There was something. What is that? The ground here is paved and dry. It's not wet like the rest of the soil. Would this be the best place for me to stand? I don't know if it matters that much. I'm gonna go to the map. Map time. Milus's house. You got it. Let's go. Oh yeah, I remember this place. Probably, maybe, I don't know. Probably. Hey, they don't know what I saw. They knew it was important. 
We see him shuffling papers at his tables, obvious, oblivious to his existence, our hey, existence. Mylas. We need to have a word. Yeah, I got several of them. It's like trees and books and bunnies and butts and that thing. Those are words. All of them. Every single one. He doesn't seem to respond and continues his business. Fortame seems anxious and taps his foot on the floor. A few moments later, Valesa gives up and interjects. Mylas, snap out of it. Yeah. We need to talk about something important. All right. He, she slams a fist down to the table. Starting Mylas. My goodness, calm down. That was a little bit much. You need to, you need to, you need to take a deep breath and relax. I know you're jealous of how good I look in my dress, but that is no excuse for these types of outbursts, okay? He jumps back a few feet in fright and then laughs. Whenever he, uh, whatever he was looking at, it's fully engrossed him. You know what they oh, say hi. about death, right? When we die, we go on to live in the realm of spirits. With that logic, spiritual energy should be infinite. Okay, I don't know if that has anything to do with anything we're talking about, but what do you always wear almost nothing and just your bathrobes around the house is that like a normal thing because uh you could also be my maid what do you think about that do you want <laughs> i'm not really sure how to respond to do you that. want do you want a job I mean, you do you want to be a maid because uh years. we got a whole group of them it's gonna be great thousands more to come uh-huh wouldn't that be beautiful? I don't know. Sorry for rambling, uh, but we should all have a seat. I'm afraid things aren't going to go as planned. Nason's Maid Service, the new bustling venture in Valinorth. It is the best venture. I have the best maids, all of them. Uh, he motions to the back of his house, a, a carpeted area. With no chairs inside, it looks like we'd be sitting on the floor. We make our way over there, questioning just what he meant. I think we were going to say the same thing to you. I mean, the seer had a vision last night. I did. A big one. Uh huh. Hopefully, we have. Hey, Milas, what is it? What What if you took those robes off? Also, kind of expecting the elder to be old. Yeah, see, I called that earlier because I said when they when they brought up the elder, I was like, wouldn't it be funny if he wasn't? And it turns out he's not because his dad is missing slash probably dead and he was the original elder and he just took over for him and apparently he forgot clothing well unfortunately i'm past the point of subtlety so in the interest of time i'll get right to it the induction ceremony is henceforth cancelled well hold on a second that is bullshit this is my party and i will cry if i want to Damn it! Just ruined my party! His dad is missing. His clothes are mostly missing. He, he must run in the family. Everything's missing. And also, my party's missing now, too. Uh, uh. What? You can't be serious! Whoa! 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 There whoa! There be an explanation for this. Whoa! Listen. Whoa. Time for Nason to evil are time to burn down. The I'm going that, that that that's what happens is that me and look at this angry little face right here. Me and Fort Fortame are going to go burn this place down Fort Fortame. Me and Fortame are going to burn this whole place down. We're like, we didn't get our party. Burn it all. Burn it all down. And uh, Fortame is fuming with anger and very upset. No shit. You don't say. No ceremony, no maids, no village. <laughs> exactly. I guess Milas was right. Plans have changed. Void Lord, what's going on? We're burning this whole place down. My party got canceled. I will not stand for it. This is just not the way it's supposed to go. But the timing, along with my vision, was odd. Very odd. What's going on here? Miles? I'm pretty sure he's not wearing pants. I'm like 99% certain that this guy is definitely not wearing pants. How dare those evil bastards? What's going on here? I'm afraid that's a very complicated answer. Let's back things up a few moments. Seer, tell us about the vision you had. Well, okay. So uh, what it was is that you see the whole village burned. 
And it may be because my party was canceled. You probably feel bad about that last decision, right? <laughs> you might want to reconsider it. Take a deep breath as we all sit down. He's definitely not wearing pants. I'm just going to say. <laughs> uh, that was a moment I told him everything. How Valor North was destroyed by the triumvirate. I told him about the blaze and the agony and how the man who led the attack with a mythical blade, mystical blade, not only to kill Ulrich, but killed me as well. When I finished my story, I met with silence. The look amongst themselves in shock and confusion. It's fine. It's a lot to process all at once. He's definitely not wearing pants. I'm just going to say he doesn't seem like the kind to wear pants. He's not. He's definitely not. 100%. Well, guys, okay, this is getting awkward. He's not wearing pants. Everybody's shocked. I'm not sure if it's about my story or what you guys are seeing down there. Could be either way. Just as I expected. It was only a matter of time before you saw it. That is, if the spirits truly cared about our protection. For a moment there, I thought the music was going to break out into the Black Parade. It almost did. Wait, slow down a minute. How do we know nothing was lost in translation? Because this isn't this isn't that kind of movie. <laughs> it's not that movie. There is a movie called that. Remember, the abstract visions are known to be. I can confirm that an attack is imminent. How do you know that? Besides, Valesa, you know visions aren't like that. The spirits have gotten strong enough. That's no longer an issue. When I was a young boy... <laughs> Uh, this can't be true. Well, it is. It is. And unfortunately, it's just the start. My there father! Important matters at hand. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. He smiles at each of us before taking a deep breath, and then looked down and was like, Oh, uh, I forgot my pants. My bad. With I noticed large bags under his eyes, signs of unrest. He must have been living with this secret for a while. I didn't want to tell you until you needed to know. I'm just lucky that this vision waited until I was ready. The Triumvirate wants to occupy Valinorth, as they did Mazeo. Mm hmm Okay. I know what you three lost in Mazeo, and I'm sorry. What did we what lose? We How did I lose Valinorth anything? Did I lose far, anything? Far I don't think we did. We've never been there. Punishment for my father's involvement with the Rebellion. Your father was involved? Just like that, empty armor seemed to imply. Just like that, empty armor seemed to imply. So Valinor did have some relation to the rebellion, and it wasn't uh, just during Milus's short reign either. We're supposed to be nonpartisan. Mm -hmm. Well, surprise, surprise. Yeah, that's our whole deal. There's that. Why you would your need to do that to us. You need to calm down, buddy. You're cute, but don't. Don't. You need to calm down. All right. All right. Never forgive you, Milus. Your father is responsible for all of this. You'll never he forgive him. The moment he helped them. You'll never forgive Milus, his father. <laughs> Do you understand the logic breakdown there, Valessa? A little bit of rub. Understandable, rum. but this is not my fault. Surely you know about my father's disappearance. But have you heard the stories of the recent rebel victory? No. No, I haven't. Uh, I didn't check my mail. Was there like a newsletter or something? Rebel victory? The blade that the seer mentioned. It was taken from the triumvirate. Without it, they are weak and vulnerable. Oh, well, sure. But it was not an easy feat to accomplish. In their pursuit of the blade, many people died, including the leader of the rebellion itself. Uh, the new leader, Damek, sent it here for safekeeping. Good plan. The Grand Tree Let's no send it to the non-warrior-based village it. with and no defenses. Damek in Mazeo. Mm -hmm. Hey, slow down. This makes sense to you, but it's all a blur to us. Poor tame. Your father was one of the men. All right, buddy, buddy, buddy. Blade. I want you to take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath, okay? Indeed, he was Fortem. Fortem. Rebel leader's death. My father's disappearance. I'm afraid those are intricately connected. Oh. You mean? I, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I do. My father didn't work with the rebellion. He created it. 
The first allegiance in Valinorth's entire Oops. history. My bad. I just smacked my microphone there. My mistake. Gave it the old smack down right there. Uh, let's send it to him in one place where it could be found and not defended. It's the perfect plan. <laughs> They'll never suspect it. Whoa. Whoa. He formed an allegiance with insurgents in Mazeo. Together, they grew and created a large army, large enough to steal the Triumvirate's sacred blade. Good job! I don't understand why he'd do that. We're fine on our own. We always have been. My father was leading the rebellion because the Mazeo was the land of, like, the city of trades. And he was like, I can't get my son pants until we get the trade board open again. We gotta make sure that that's open. Times are changing and leaving us behind. I'm afraid that Valinorth is a dying culture, Valesa. What I am about to tell you must not leave this room. Do you mean we just stay here forever? What is it? You know of Salberg, right? No. How it houses the spirit idol of Valinorth. I didn't know that. Did I? I don't know. Yes, of course. But it's been blocked off for a long time. I've never gone to see a spirit idol in person. Okay. I'm afraid it might remain that way. Seer. That's me. On the eve of your birth, it went dark. My bad? Is living unlimited spiritual energy. My bad. Oops. There's no way I believe that, Milas. Our connection with the spirits is eternal. Well, uh, I... Oopsies. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. I wish that were the case for Tim. It pains me to say this, but it's true. You are the last seer we shall ever have. That's a lot of pressure. Guys, that's a... I... That's Normally, a lot of pressure. chooses a child. Yes. That child is imparted with a surge of spiritual energy. Uh-huh. Don't when mess this up. Away, I better not. Uh, that's... Uh, I got a lot to live up to here, guys. <laughs> this is a problem. But you, Seer... Uh-huh. It gave everything to you. Well... The spirit realm is making one final push. Then why is everyone like, Oh, Nathan, you're so weak. Everyone, Everyone's like, You're so small and weak. And then th this guy's like, Well, hold on a second. Uh, the thing is... <laughs> Sounds like the spirits have given up on us. Perhaps we took their gift for granted and... Yeah, no pressure, but you mess up the whole world is lost. Oh, well, we're account? screwed. We are so screwed. What will happen to us? Uh, you... Well, if you... If you... If you can all... You all have the second job as my maid, so you're going to be fine. I expect that Valinorth will become like any other nation. We'll take history into our own hands rather than act on guidance. It's not a bad thing, and I don't think the spirits gave up on us. Ah, uh, well, it kind of sounds a little bit like they did. In fact, I think it's the opposite. They're placing all of their hope on us. The seer and that blade mm -hmm. can save us all. Um, listen, the thing about that is... Back to that blade again? Yeah. What does that have to do with all of this? I don't know. Milas is the only one not calling you weak. Literally not the only... The guy with no pants is the one guy who's like, you're not very weak. And I'm like, well, you also don't know what pants are. So I guess it's not this is a very, played. you know, precarious situation. Told. In order to harness it, you need remarkable strength. Mm-hmm. Or, in other words, a vast amount of spiritual energy. Well, everybody else in this game is saying that you're wrong. <laughs> See here. I think the spirits chose you to wield this blade, to take it, join uh, the rebels of Mazeo, and defeat the Triumvirate. I know this is asking a lot of you, but we always follow their lead. And I follow my lead. I'm gone. I'm out. Valinorth may be attacked. Right. We can rebuild from the ashes. Well, actually, I have some bad news about that. Because none of you are going to be here. <laughs> You're all going to die. Of unjust gods. Right. Nothing to say about that? You, you neither? Okay. 
Not awkward at all. So that's why your father formed uh. this alliance? To take control of our history in the spirit's absence? And to make sure the triumvirate doesn't dictate our future? Yes. He wanted to strengthen our bonds with outsiders as well. Without visions, we Oh boy, revolution time. Come. Where's Vaughn when you need him? Out. Exactly. We need Vaughn. Vaughn and and I guess that that makes one of these guys Balthier, but I'm not sure which what one. We do have, however, is the potential of the seer. That's me. I think that's why he sacrificed himself to get this blade. He knew that you'd be able to wield it and achieve liberation. Okay, you guys, this is a lot. I'm just gonna say there's a lot Please. right here. Take you guys are really, really laying this on thick right now. The ceremony is supposed to start. I'll tell the people. They're all rounding up, so it'll be easy to evacuate. Is Milas Fran then? They both the equal of they do. <laughs> no, well, at least Fran true. Fran at least had some sort of like leg covering in the form of those boots. That was pretty much the most of it. I'm pretty sure this guy has none of that. None of it. A bit behind, but we'll meet in Mazeo. Oh, uh, thanks, Miles. I'm glad you have faith in me. It's misplaced, but we'll need new this is all to your doom. Volunteers. Yes. As far as I can tell, this is not up for debate. If you think it is, then consider it an order from your elder. Leave as soon as you are able, and we'll meet again soon. All right. Should I get a sword or something? Do I need to take that with me? Uh, he stands up and walks away. His butt flapping in the wind freely and openly. Does oh, this story I mean, move in linear story fashion? So uh, kind of, kind of, but twists and turns uh, there is like some side dimension. stories and stuff like Think that. And also like uh, the visions the like harness. seem to be kind of both, Just right? So your tail and hope for the best, we'll see. Ooh, ooh. Moments later, he's back in his usual business. The exchange glances when they're overwhelmed. Listen. I'm gonna try and be the voice of reason here. All right. I said a lot of stuff. I'll watch the clap of his cheeks. Literally, just walks away. It's just. We should go either way. Uh, <laughs> uh, what? Uh, but if attack coming, we should go Especially either way. Especially if there's a weapon we can use. I think we should grab it from the Grand Tree first. Again, not siding with anyone here. Just using logic. Were you though? Yeah, you're right. We do the same thing. Colonel, I'm trying to be stealthy. Find something to defend ourselves with. But he said the spirits gave you all their power, and they cut their influence from Valinorth for good? This changes Alestia's entire history. It does. Just our actions. Right. I can't say I fully understand, but it makes sense. Miles' father foresaw all this and took action. I feel hatred, but at the same time... I feel hope. That's a uh, very, very, uh, well, you are very conflicted right now. Let's take this one step at a time, Valesa. We'll grab the weapon and make our way out of here. The rest can fall into place as we move on. Perfect. Let's do that. Also, can we have like a mini party before we go? Because I still feel like I should have a party. Like, I'm just really bitter about that, okay? We nod and we stand up as well. With an attack on the way, we had to move. Uh, Milas would take care of the evacuating everybody else. Uh, if we got the blade first, Sobe couldn't use it. So, to the Grand Tree then? To the Grand Tree! Modicum of sanity. Okay. Their lives were just turned around. They are very turned around. I think. I'm sure we'll manage as long as we're together. Perfect. I'm not giving up on any of you. You are not. I'm gonna need all the maids I can get to fulfill this journey. I mean, every single my army of maids is the only way we're gonna get through this. So it is all dependent. We can't do if we all pitch in. Perfect. Let's go to the Grand Tree and get that blade and the maid uniforms. They're both there. It's perfectly convenient. What are we doing? Oh, okay. Am I looking at stuff? On Valinorth's blood leaves. Whoa. Though it doesn't I didn't know there was actually going to be stuff blood. here. Really? <laughs> I wasn't aware that Frilly <laughs> Maids make the best defense, the they do. Domination. Many believe Maybe those maids should put down their mops and try picking up a sword if they want to be taken seriously. No, no, Theo, hey, you're wrong. Who needs a strong defense when you have fabulous fashion sense, right? I do. Believe it or not. Don't venture into East Crown, so what happened? Is this the... I don't know if this is the same thing. Either way, that is... Either way... Upon the blood leaves native to Valinorth. You're right. 
It's very top exactly, of the Theo. We got to do it that way. Reason, the leaves grow a crimson red. Perfect. We have no explanation as they this, should. Though some people believe that these are the tears from the departed tried to reach our physical realm. That's pretty depressing. The maybe they the maybe leaves. they should uh, try to Every lighten up a little bit. Years, a gale of cold wind comes from East Crown and assaults the canopy of Valinorth. This causes many of the leaves to wilt and fall off. The wind carries these dead leaves on a journey through Alestia skies, including the aforementioned blood leaves. Perfect. The rest of the world That's beautiful. The that sounds actually really pretty. I would like to see that. A portent of bad things to come. The sky being painted red with these leaves may look scary to some. Mm -hmm. the departed should chill more. As a natural event. The departed the should more chill, be more chill, exactly. The departed probably do need to be more chill. All right, what am I doing? So how many Crown is a pretty scary place. Uh-huh. I thought about going there, but I'm too scared. Nah. Apparently, it's cold enough to kill you in minutes. Uh, we'll find a way to keep warm, poor tame. We'll figure it out. Trust me, you and me, we're going to figure it out. You don't have nothing to be worried about. Blood leaves is beautiful, though. I've seen it a couple of times since I was born. I'm not sure what other purpose East Crown serves. I don't know either. Maybe we could have our party there. It could be where we do our maid stuff. I don't know if there's another book. Over here. But that's fine. Okay, so there might be another book. Don't worry, maid dress will keep you warm. It will definitely keep you warm. You have nothing to worry about. Milas isn't using this desk. I assume it's fair game. I push aside some papers looking for anything of note. A book of Solidberg grabs my interest and I brought it up. Apparently, the spirit idol uh, there has stopped giving off energy. Valinor we just heard source. about that. I am aware of this. Of Valinorth have helped guide our nation right. to a state of constant peace. Everyone in Valinorth lives a simple and happy life under the guidance of the spirit realm. There's only one seer or seeress per generation, and their birth is marked by a surge of energy emanating from our spirit idol located in Solberg. There's a rotation of guards who watch the idol when a birth is expected to take place. As there can only be one know about seer that? or seeress at any given time, and the spans of... Do we just, like, send to the guards who are like, uh, it looks like Mary's about to pop any minute now, so get With ready! Small population, it is very rare for multiple births to happen on one night. However, that is not the purpose of my writing. I wish to discuss what was observed on the night of the most recent generation. Typically, the spirit idol will have a burst of light and energy before returning to a dim state. However, with the latest birth, there was no dim state. Only darkness remained when the final seer was given to us. The Again, my bad. I, you know, I wasn't going for that. I just gave mom a real difficult birth, and it must have taken the whole crystal energy whatever thing down with it, you know? Now, we must come to rely on the rest of Alestia mm -hmm. instead of only ourselves. I will seek out potential partners in the future. The Elder of Valinorth. Right. I had no idea that they were hiding such a secret. Valinorth could run out of spiritual energy for good? The cold from East Crown could easily kill us off. No, you'll be fine. You're gonna be fine, I promise. Horson, don't worry. Yeah. It could be thousands of years before we run out. Besides, at this point, it's still conjecture. No pressure, no pressure. That is good to know. Let me do this really quick. Okay, so do I do, like, name, purity, purity, corruption, morale? Goddamn, how much, how do you know? Is this where I did it? Like, there we go. Oh, I am nothing. Literally, at this point, nothing. <laughs> literally, literally nothing. Okay, though, I do think this is a good place the for us to kind of stop for the, the day. Going uh, so right let me get over here. I'm just going to get there. We're going to do the thing where you go like... Okay, so that is what we're doing for today. We're going to continue playing this game. It's kind of fun. I like like having like little interactions like this where it's kind of fun like that, right? So we'll we'll keep playing. It's going to be a good time. In the meantime... Uh-oh, I think I may have lost that one already. Let me see who is available right now. Uh, let's see, 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 let's see who's doing stuff right now. Uh, but in the meantime, yeah, I'll say I'm going to see you guys uh, in the... Uh 
Well, let's see what he's doing. Uh, I will see you guys on Thursday. Keep that in mind. We're going to be doing Thursday. Uh, and we're going to be playing some Lethal Company with Demon Otter games and others. Uh, so that should be a fun time. It'll be a very different, very different experience from this one. But uh, I'm going to, you know, either way it'll be fun. And then also we're going to be playing another further game of Lethal Company on Saturday as well. So I will see you guys then. Uh, until next time, I'm going to send you over to Jinsoku Kitsune, who's playing some party animals. You guys have a wonderful night, and I will see you next time. Uh, so have a good night, and enjoy, and have a great time, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye-bye. See you later. Enjoy. Be good, all of you.